Hello, and welcome to uh, another Pack Antics adventure. Go figure, uh, and you'll find out why it's titled that uh, as we go through. Though, uh, there's maybe a hint in the fact that there are a few skins that came to the game today uh, of, uh, you know, certain action figure quality. Um, yeah, we're doing this game day because War Duke is coming uh, to Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms today, uh, as well as three awesome skin packs for War Duke or Kira and Lucius, who were all done by Cat. <laughs> It's me. It, it's yeah, it's cat. the cat art dump day. Yeah. <laughs> we love to see it. We love to see it. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen them, I, I, did, did we show them in the ad reel beforehand? Uh, <laughs> was there an ad I, reel beforehand? I don't there know. There was an ad reel before Bardic Inspiration. There wasn't before here because of producer okay. reasons. Hi, everyone. But you can see it in the game. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, if you go check out in the game right now, uh, they might be like my three favorite skins of all time <laughs> uh, because they completely changed the way that the character moves and I love everything about them. Yes, they all uh, have special animations that were redone just for them. It's so good. Especially Orkira, who is yeah. amazing. Who, uh, you have to set off Orkira's ultimate after. Yeah, you... that's what I was going to say. Be sure to set off Orkira's ultimate while using that skin. Oh, oh I haven't oh. seen the ultimate on that one yet. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh it's, it's so good. For a surprise. It's a fun little thing. It's a fun little thing. Uh, but yeah, we're going to play uh, a pack this game here uh, with four uh, awesome people from C&E. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so we're going to go around and introduce them and who they are playing. Let's start with Sean. Oh, me. Oh, my God. I did not. Why am I first? Uh, hello. Uh, I am playing uh, your favorite speed champion. I am Shandy Freefoot. <laughs> I'll be dashing my way across the field. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kat, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, hi, I'm Kat. I'm an artist at, at CNU, but I'm playing uh, Celeste, who's a, a cleric and, and team mom. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I was so happy because I yeah I opened up like uh, like oh you can play champions from the the last uh, pack antics as well and I was so happy that you picked Celeste because Celeste is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I love to play clerics, so it was like the yeah. obvious choice for me. Uh, Mars, who are you and who are you playing? I am Gridal, <laughs> Gobold of the Stars, friend to everyone, rogue, very handsome. Very looking sharp. And the spirit contained within my vessel is one Mars, who basically lives on this Twist channel, does a lot of streaming. Uh, and last but not least, Lauren, who are you and who are you playing? Besides being our awesome producer while playing. Uh, which, if you see me looking over to the side, no, you don't. It's fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator here at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I am not playing Orkira Ildrex, who you can find in the game as an action figure, which makes me so happy. Please, please go get her. I have a fuzzy hat. But today, I'm actually I playing. The I, I there's, there's history behind the fuzzy hat. Let me tell you. <laughs> there is actually actual history i'll talk about that some other time but because i'm not here to play or carol weekly Drex. patronage i love the fuzzy hat yeah the fuzzy hat it's so good it's so good it's literally shown up in games luke has art for it but tonight today this afternoon i'm playing cobalt tyrell yeah, yeah. tyrell's yeah. back everybody hi yeah uh which you know always means that there is a uh a dice percent chance of another character showing up uh <laughs> oh, I, I, I still have that bag you know yeah, yeah. Oh. this is a good bag, this is a good good bag. bag. It's, it's chekhov's bag of tricks <laughs> <laughs> Will, will I use the bag? Stick around and find Fun. out. Yeah, I'm probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so let's kick things off. Uh, we're gonna be starting in a uh, similar place to where we were last time. We were in the Artificer's Lab. The Artificer is the uh, patron of uh, the Pack Antic Sp uh, Spell Jammer team. Uh, uh, he is the one that you know gives them the their their quest to go like deliver stuff or you know whatnot. It's mainly delivery and acquiring things to deliver them uh along with his little uh auto gnome friend uh, uh mixer uh but as uh the the three spell jammer pack antics characters come in uh you see uh someone who you know who is uh celeste who is also in cobalt form uh at some point maybe you all interact and we're like hey we're cobalts now this is chill <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just here hanging out you know taking care of things how are you? <laughs> it's so good to see you. Yeah, you look you look like a cobalt. It's great. 
It I'm smell just like one too. Hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> the the scales is new for sure. Um, yeah, and being uh, very short as well. <laughs> Celeste, you, you were actually uh, invited here specifically by uh, the Artificer, but you haven't quite been told why yet. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've just been waiting for you guys. Yeah, he hasn't told me what we're doing yet, uh, but I'm sure it will be an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> an important adventure. <laughs> Always. Cridal, Always. do you know what we're doing? Cause... <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, okay. Do I ever... <laughs> Well, no, but that made it sound like when you said an important adventure that you knew, and maybe I just kind of oh. dozed off during a meeting or something. That happens. I just trust in my cosmic fate that I'm always steered in a vital direction to help all peoples of all worlds. Karma. I don't know what I'm doing, that but I know it never it's works, good. though. Just Karma. shut up. It's fine. Now that we know about Cridal's vitals, um... <laughs> The, the actually, you know, Shandy, give me a perception check real quick oh uh, as as you're entering the lab. First roll. Woo! Now oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. Uh, it's a seven. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you you're uh, very entertained by the fact that uh, that Celeste is here, um, and uh, from up above uh, in in the, the the artificer's main lab area from uh, where you all are. Uh, you hear him say, oh, everyone, come up here. I have good news to share. Good news, good news everyone. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's not that's not what he said. He said he said good news to to share. He said he said it different. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's I fine. got the spirit. Okay, the sp Wait, we I got we understood the spirit of of right. See, Shandy, we got the spirit. We got it. We got yeah. it. Yes, we do. We've got spirit. How about, How about you? you? <laughs> See? I scamper up the stairs. I, I saunter. I romp up the stairs. I dash up the stairs. I scroll. Oh, that's good. Th this is why I always write how much I think we'll get into uh, a show, <laughs> but no, I will cut a lot of it. <laughs> um, so you guys, you all go up the stairs and... Uh, there's the uh, there's the artificer and there's mixer um, and uh, uh, the artificer cla clasps his hands together is like very good I have a new adventure for you all and uh, actually as he says that uh, Shandy you become aware that someone else is standing next to you and you <laughs> turn and there is this person in a blue cloak that goes all the way up their body from like floor to shoulders and a dark hood that comes over it and there's two glowing red eyes in the darkness of the hood well hello mr mrs suspicious uh who's the guy <laughs> uh the artificer or them or whoever they are <laughs> uh the artificer says oh that that is uh that's your new client Yes, yes. There's something that uh, that he needs uh, uh, taken back. Uh, he he can tell you a bit better. Why why, why don't you re reveal yourself? And the person pulls the hood back, and uh, from the hood just boop, uh, pop two uh, uh, metal wings on a helm. Uh, and uh, th this person stands there half naked, but very muscular. Uh, nice. and, I mean, if you got it, flaunt it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah th and he is flaunting it. Poke Some would say muscle, flaunting it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say flaunting it too much for what could possibly be on a children's show. Um, and... <laughs> But uh, it, you do see that it, uh, he also has uh, a, a sheathed sword on his back with a shield. Um, and uh, the once the, the cloak has been removed, uh, he says, Yes, I need you to retrieve something of most importance to me. Again, so kind of... not suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cough drops. Got it. Yeah, lozenges. Got it. Celeste so kind of squints up at him and is like, How are those ducklings doing? Uh, the person goes, what? what? Uh, uh, oh, wait, that's you. It's fine. It's it's fine. We're not going to talk about that. It's fine. Just leave okay. It. It'll just be between you and me then. We're okay, finding ducks, ducks for this guy? Got it. <laughs> for more, go and read Pacquiao's text available on most social media platforms with Idol Champions. I mean, I've oh, never promotion. pulled a duck out of my bag before. Do we want to try? 
Go, go, go. Uh, Mr. Mr. Duck person? I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. You it's just, not Duck, it's, it's Duke. Duke. I'm, so, I'm War Duke. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. War Duke. I'm Tyrrell. I'll let everybody else introduce themselves. Oh, uh, I'm Shandy. What are you? What do you need help with? And how much were you being paid? Oh, that's that's a good question. Mm-hmm. I'm mighty suspicious of this big muscular War Duke. So. Um, War Duke will actually like uh, reach behind his back and pull out uh, a giant bag that he puts on the table, and it it uh, clangs with a sound of a lot of coins inside of it. And he stands uh, at attention. Yes. What do you need, <laughs> sir? <laughs> he says. There was something stolen from me by a great foe, and I need you to retrieve it from the Feywild of Prismere. Oh, I like the Feywild. We've been there. Yeah. You, you realize if we're going to go there, we might not come back for a long time. You, wow, you really went with that. It's a long time. That was impressive. Long time. Yeah, okay, okay, we got Deep it. Breath. Oh, it got shorter that time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and the, that's when the artificer breaks in uh, and uh, says, good news for the few of you. Um, <laughs> that's actually why I invited Celeste here, because she has been to the Feywild, specifically Prismere, so I can teleport you there easily. Yeah, it's, it's all back in my memory banks with oh, Star okay. and the circus. It's... It was a, another lovely adventure. <laughs> yes, awesome. and there was absolutely no interaction between the two of us whatsoever. Insight check. Yeah, I was going to say insight <laughs> check, yeah. <laughs> I'm joining that, in on that. It's a dirty 20. Oh, uh, yeah. 23. Yeah, I, I also would like to roll insight. Uh, he's... <laughs> Tyrrell, you somehow Please see uh, like a bead of, sweat going, <laughs> bead of sweat going down the dread helm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know about like, you guys, but I trust him. <laughs> so let's just like fold her hands behind her back and just looks quietly going, cheap, 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 cheap. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on, but I'll get the story later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, War Duke uh, will say, uh, you see, well, this someone who I used to be friends with named Kellick stole something very important to me. He stole the action figure of me! Like, who does that? <gasps> you have an no. action figure? I know! That's so cool! Why would you take that from someone? Ah, uh, yeah. It's it's in, unforgivable. Is it, is it in the package or out of the package? Oh, out of the package, man. I play with that oh. thing. It's cool. Absolutely. The value. The value. You buy two. Oh, see, but sometimes it's hard to get two. Like, I have I have that Dragonborn cleric, and I was only able to get the one. She's real popular. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I don't know much about that. I'm, just, I'm really just kind of interested in, in like the me toy because I'm, it's, it's me. Because yeah, because you should really get two because it is you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not not really to scale though, huh? You're a lot bigger. Yes, it would be weird if it was to scale. Yeah, no, it's it's. It's more of a statue at that point than an action figure. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Still Although, sounds fun. If it's a posable statue, that's even cooler. Like, yeah. What if you could open the chest up and then, because we're we're small, we could fit in that and then control the statue. That's a robot. <laughs> yeah, now, Which now is... we're getting into construct. Hey, artificer, territory. I've got some ideas when we get back from this mission. <laughs> yeah. Just by we the got way. plans for when we come back. <laughs> Oh, we got the funds. I point to the bag at the table. <laughs> uh, actually, you say that, and the artificer goes, hmm, and then looks down at Mixer, and Mixer goes, bite my shot, and then he just covers up his mouth. <laughs> Are you friends with a robot named Crow? <laughs> Can't say that they are. <laughs> okay, all right. I should, I should introduce you one of these days. <laughs> Okay, we're going to the Feywild to track down this this cucumber guy so that we can get your action figure back. Okay. Yeah. Yes. He, he's 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 made a residence for himself in the the Palace of Hearts Desire since a bunch of adventurers went through there and cleared it out. Palace. Who, who stole it again? Kellek. Oh, his name. He's old wizard guy. You'll recognize him by his white beard and popped collar. Oh yeah, I've met I've met Keelik. Bird guy, right? 
eels people? No, no, d d not a bird guy. Not a bird guy. Not a bird guy. Not a bird guy. That, that's Keelick. This is kill ick. Yeah, oh, kill it. Got it. Yeah. We can kill, kill it. it. Yeah, we can kill, kill anything good. Kill yeah. You know, kill it. He, he uses his big staff, spins it a lot. That's every wizard ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just got to give him a sword in one hand and a staff in the other, and they just go to town. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So uh, we're going to to the we're going to the Feywild to return a lost toy to this sad child. Yes. <laughs> Not a child. <laughs> very you tall. Are very a sad. child. A child at heart. It's okay. Tall, muscular, scary child. <laughs> tall, muscular, scary child. That's forever going to be my descriptor for War Duke now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that part of inspiration? <laughs> War Duke, a tall, muscular, scary <laughs> child. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is the remix. <laughs> so the artificer has uh, you all gather around in a, in a circle, um, and uh, he, uh, you know, use, uh, you know, putting his uh, hands on Celeste's shoulders, uh, casts a form of uh, plane shift. Uh, and in a bright flash of light, uh, you all are in a new place. Uh, you can, uh, the, the odors of nature just completely fill your nostrils, your giant cobalt nostrils, um, which oh is much God. different than, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the rock of brawl where the professors or professor. Now nah, that's a different person where the artificers lab is. Um, and yeah, the, the surrounding area is uh, a tree line. You seem to be in this clearing, and nearby there is this tall tower that's kind of slanted to one side. Uh, Celeste, you uh, recognize this place because you've been here before. You, you rescued a uh, little fairy dragon named uh, uh, Sir Talavar. T Talavar? Yes, Sir Talavar from there. But actually, as you're kind of reminiscing about that, you look down and there's a little camp area and Talavar is just chilling there. And he go, he's like, oh, hey. hey. <laughs> you're going to scurry on over to him. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, T Talavar is this, is this kind of uh, lean, uh, um, kind of snake-like fairy dragon where he's got this long neck uh, that he's all, all pink. And he has has a, he's a little like soul patch and a mustache, <laughs> and he has a and he has a little rapier on his side. And he's just like ha ha yes hello. It's good to see you again. It's wonderful to see you again. How have you been? Uh well uh let's see. I decided not to go back to my homeland because I don't have a cool title to bring back, and Ooh. uh uh um so I just stayed here hoping one would come along. <laughs> Oh, hmm. I hear that if you buy a patch of land and then, you, <laughs> and then you get a title with it, and then you can go back to where you you come from, and then you'll have a little certificate. It's like five gold. It's super cheap to buy. Yeah, yeah. it's really. Oh. Easy. And then you they can plant just like mail in to apply. And then they plant a tree there. It's great. Oh, yeah. well, uh, now I'm starting to rethink the last six months that I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure you've had a lot of fun doing other stuff, so... Well, well uh, uh, Celeste, what, what are you doing here, though? Well, we're here on a retrieval, almost a rec rescue mission. For... Another? Yes, although of a slightly less animate <laughs> and smaller in stature. Well, we don't know that. Well, <laughs> one can hope. Yeah. Uh, we're... Well, we're here to get back a toy for a very large child. <laughs> large, muscular child. Yes. Very frightening. Oh, well, to be fair, every human child is a giant child to me, so. <laughs> that is all relative, yeah. Uh, well, uh, is there any way I can help? I still have the balloon? That could very much come in handy. Um, well, I'm looking for a wizard named Killick. Yes. Do you know that name? Steals oh. children's toys. Yes. No. Big no. collar. Yeah. He uh he took over that palace uh in the north. Yeah. 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 I know that one. Is that the Palace of Heart's Desire? Which apparently right. his was to steal an action figure. <laughs> what a shallow heart. We all have yeah. our goals, I guess. Oh. It's sad, really. 
<laughs> well, if we could uh, ask for your help in your balloon getting over there, that would be just wonderful. Oh, yes, yes. I, I, I will need some help uh, getting the balloon ready. Is, uh, can you all, I, you all seem like you're able to do that? Of course. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, Salvar is going to bring you all over. And the, the balloon does seem like it has been used for a bit. Uh, the, the basket sitting there and the, the balloon itself was just kind of draped uh, along the forest line. So, if you'd like to help, you can choose to either make um, a athletics, acrobatics, or sleight of hand check. And tell me which one you're going to do and what you get. Hey. I will help with sleight of hand. I, I'm going to help with athletics because I'm slow, but I'm strong. <laughs> uh, I will also try athletics. I got a 15 for sleight of hand. Not great, but I am a helper. I'm going to Ooh. inspire everyone by doing a cool flip. <laughs> I got what, you. Get, what'd you get there, Kat? Uh, 20. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, what, what'd you do, and what skill did you roll? Athletics. Ooh, okay. Tyrell? I also rolled athletics. I got 24. Ooh, okay. And, uh, and, and, and so Cradle's just doing a, a, a backflip? Watch me. Yeah, roll, roll an acrobatics check. I did? 14. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Cradle does a real cool acrobatics Solid. trick. Solid. Yeah. It's inspirational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Uh, yeah, so so between between all of you, um, you know, uh, Shandy is able to tie some of the knots together that uh, have come undone. The, uh, you know, uh, Celeste and Tyrell, you both were able to get the balloon into position. And as uh, Talavar got the uh, gas going again, and yeah, the balloon starts to inflate. And before you know it, y'all have got a hot air balloon. Um, and uh, nice. Talavar's just got this like big smile on his face. It's like, it smells like adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little sulfury, but I suppose sulfur leads to adventure, yeah. Yeah. It's like burning. I love the smell of adventure <laughs> in the weird time distortion Feywild. Those are usually adventures in a different plane of existence if you smell burning. But uh, okay, this is better. Uh, any sort of prep or anything any of you all want to do before climbing into this balloon and taking off? Well, do you know how to you. drive this thing? Oh, anybody here know how to drive this thing? Uh, do uh, Talavar does. Do you drive? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Do you drive I, a balloon? Sorry, Cradle. Are you? Are, can you drive a balloon? I I completely forgot that I actually took proficiency in space vehicles. So <laughs> kind of, it's like cross training. <laughs> it's like shallow space. Yeah. You gotta learn about. It's easier space, honestly. You gotta learn about the three it's dimensional lower. movement, and now you know that'll work here. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Balloon spelljammer. Basically the same thing. Uh, sh show me the lie. Okay, no. where's where's the balloon helm? And I'll go sit in this one. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a balloon. <laughs> and by always, I mean as of five minutes ago when I learned what a balloon was. <laughs> oh, God, sorry, that broke me. <laughs> Guess it's like the b burner thing that like the yeah the no there, there's there's things to do yeah 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 um okay so is anyone doing any form of prep before taking off do we know how long it's gonna take to get there um it's probably gonna take a couple hours at least okay um I don't think I need to do anything for prep I would like to Love procure good. some snacks oh snacks yeah uh why don't you give me a nature check. Sure. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, that's it's always rough asking the druid for a nature check. Well, th <laughs> there is always the danger of low rolls and then being very embarrassed. But I got a seventeen, so I, I would like to think that I found us edible snacks. Oh yeah, no, and and it's the Feywild, so things are weird. Uh, you actually start <laughs> foraging some like berries and stuff, and you're like, oh yeah, no, these are edible. These are good stuff. And then you like get to a tree, and there's a uh, there's a branch hanging there, and there are four sandwiches hanging from the 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 leaves. And after closer inspection, they're marshmallow sandwiches. <sighs> this. Tree witches, this is great. And I'm gonna grab one for everybody. 
Are we still at the campfire, or have yeah. we lifted off? We no, are? you haven't lifted off, no. I immediately toast this in the campfire. <laughs> Pull an arrow out, stick all the force <laughs> on an arrow, and then just hold it over the fire yeah. and let it like yes. roast a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I just like the idea of Shandy with, with four marshmallow sandwiches going, see, it's faster. <laughs> <laughs> I dashed my arrow through the, the sandwiches. I dashed my arrow through. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Anywhere I can fit it, wow. dash is coming. So efficient, so optimized. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Give me, give me 30 seconds, guys. One second. <laughs> Real gem, Shandy. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. So, uh, you all uh, gather into the balloon with your n- newly procured uh, marshmallow sandwiches. Toasted. Yes. Careful, the insights are hot. And uh, so gooey. And Talavar starts, uh, you know, messing with the the burner and whatnot. However, hot air balloons work. If you operate a hot air balloon in chat, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, not this that you do that, Feywild. then I don't know how it works. This yeah. is a Feywild hot air balloon. <laughs> it's which different means here. Whatever the DM says is how it works. Yeah, Talavar just kind of does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he's like jumping across things. At <laughs> one point, he's got his rapier out for no reason. It makes you a little nervous because it's a balloon, but you know he, he's got it handled. Um, and you take off into the air, and you are above Prismere, and you can see the very, very distinct looking areas of it because there's one that's like that's very obviously a swamp. That's very obviously a bunch of giant mountains. There's some weird aqueduct bridge that seems to be broken, but you can see off, off off in the far distance, the top of what seems to be a massive palace. And... Is there a giant heart on the top of it? <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 it looks like the top of like a Sailor Moon staff or something yeah. like that, yeah. Excellent. Celeste, so well, mm-hmm. do you know Look... anything about this place we're going since you've been here? Well, let uh, me Celeste, check you my memory. Actually, you actually have not been to the Palace of Heart's Desire. Uh, you mainly stuck around in this area of Hither uh, in, the, in your adventure. Okay. Uh, I haven't been to the palace exactly. Uh, I've been up in the balloon, but mostly I was just around here in, in Hither, um, around where like the, the witch like carnival was and, and stuff. Um, so I know about it, and clearly that's what it is. <laughs> awesome. Uh, that means this will be a surprise for everybody. It'll be new for everyone. Yeah. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so as you're traveling through the sky, you do eventually see a cloud that is, you know, it, rising up kind of off one of the mountains off to the side. It's kind of coming over and draping in front of you. It's blocking the view to the palace. And Talvar is just like, it's just a cloud. Ha, ha, ha. And then you just go into. Wait, the wait, cloud wait. Is itself. this a cloud that's moving in, in a weird way? Is it not moving? It, it seems like it's moving normally. Okay. Um, right. Seems. Yeah. It, I, I there, need there to know is, if we needed to nope out of here, basically. It, it's, it, <laughs> seem, it does seem like a, a little coincidental. I need to know if the clouds follow. What us. does the cloud smell like? What color it might be a is clown this cloud? cloud. It's it's like a grayish color. Mm. Not like rain. Just a storm cloud, maybe. Does it smell like rain? It does. It's very. It's it's like misty mm. inside. Mm. Should probably hold on to I something. <laughs> there are ropes. We'll be fine. Anyone want a hug? Me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Group hug, quick. I'm gonna hold on to Cradle. <laughs> Mm. Uh, and this that's is nice. And as you nice. all are doing a group hug, that's when you hear a voice go, "Oh God!" And a form rises up over the side of the basket, and it's a, a form that Celeste you recognize because uh, it's a hag that you could have sworn you defeated before, named Bavlorna, who is this ch- giant toad-like creature. And she goes, ah, "Now you're all in a place to be eaten together." Why are, you, why are you peeping like that? We're hugging here. <laughs> Let's Hi, roll initiative. Hi, frog lady. <laughs> initiative. Initiative. How would you like us to give you initiative? <laughs> uh, I will call on you in just a moment. Cool. Um, surprising. No one, they, this uh, person does not have a great dex. Oh, well, it's a good roll, though. Uh, all right. Uh, Tiro, what'd you get? A five. 
Okay. Hi, frog lady. <laughs> Celeste, what did you get? I also got a five. Oh boy, uh, Shandy, how's that? Uh, how's that, that? That dash going? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Cradle. I'm very dexterous. Twelve. Okay. Uh, so despite what I said there at the beginning, Bevelorna is going first. <laughs> she got the drop on us. Or the, the up on us. <laughs> We're too busy hug. Too busy in the hug. <laughs> You're never too busy to hug. Disengage! 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 <laughs> Disengage! Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Bav Lorda, uh says, ah, My sisters brought me back, and now I'll swallow each of you all! And she uh, reaches into her mouth Very small. and pulls out what looks like a little toad version of her, and she just chucks it at one of you. Oh, you have an Can action just... figure too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this little... Maybe we can trade it to Kellick for the other one. <gasps> this... <laughs> this one is going uh, to uh, to Shandy um, as this little toad Bavlorda thing just right onto your face. Um, and it just makes a very loud ribbiting sound. Um, <laughs> oh, that's right. I can just click on this thing and open those stats. Um, and now at the end of her turn, it's going to get uh, uh, some attacks on you as it just starts trying to claw your face. Get, get away. Ah, ah. Oh, my gosh. I'm rolling very well. Um, uh, that is 27 to hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> oh, um, hmm. that is a lot. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty high. <laughs> It's pretty high. I rolled really high, to be fair. Yeah. Level five. Um, <laughs> yeah, level five. Don't worry, it's that fine. Damage. Yeah. yeah. Good time. Uh, you're going to take five points of slashing damage from it. Oh. Fr- and it rolled a 26 to hit on that one. You know what? That one misses crazy <laughs> enough, right? Crazy. Wild. Who would have oh, thought? Oh, Shandy. Higher AC than a Tarasco. Yeah, well, Shandy, no level, 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 level five, 26 <laughs> AC. Oof. Yeah. No. Uh, so that's, that gonna hits, be, yeah. that's gonna be another uh, five points of slashing damage. Um, okay, so Bavlorda uh, coming out swinging, but Shandy, you get to respond. Though there is a tiny Bavlorda on your face. Oh God! Can I like shake my head and have a flop, or is it hampering my? <laughs> is it hampering my vision in any way? Tell you what, I will. If you want to make an acrobatics check to f- fling your head real fast. I will, do, I will do a, a contested roll with it to Ooh, see if it got hangs an, on. I got an eight. You got an eight? Well, I mean, yeah. I'm despite the fact I've been rolling really high, I normally roll really yeah. low. Like right now when I roll a one. Yes. <laughs> just give the good and just get rid of it. Yeah, so uh, essentially Shandy's just like, no! And then it just it goes, eh, eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it so goes long. flying over the side of the basket. So long, small Bowser. Uh, <laughs> hey, nice. Um, I'm going to pull out my dragon wing short bow uh, okay. and just knock an arrow. I'm like, get out of here. I'm just going to let loose three arrows because it's my okay. first turn. Okay. Uh, so first one is a 28 to hit. How's that? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, that one is going to be... Uh, 15 points of damage, which 10 piercing, 5 force. Ooh, fancy. Uh, second attack is a 27 to hit. How is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that is 13 points of damage. Good. That's and then awesome. second one is, or sorry, last one is a 14 to hit. Uh, that one is unfortunately going to miss. So, uh, yeah, you 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 you, you plugged her like little uh, a toad form with two arrows, but she was able to duck the last one with with the bow out. Shani doesn't even grab us arrows as she pulls back the string. It just like these air, four arrows of forces appear materialize in the in the bow and just and just three get shot out really quick. Shandy looks super cool while doing this. Yeah. It's like a big Maybe dragon wing that's scaled. Yeah, it's it looks amazing. <laughs> uh, and then as my bonus action. Uh, I will let out a draconic cry, so everybody has advantage on attack rolls against the enemy. Okay, and I'll move to the back of the, the thing. Like, ah! And then, that's <laughs> thing. Uh, uh, Cridal, there is a Bavlorna uh, just off the side of the basket. Okay, so very close. Yes. Like, Sorry, and then one more thing. Reach? Sorry, I forgot. I have an extra D, extra eight points of damage. 
because the drain ambusher. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, so it's eight points. Oh, wow. An nice. extra eight points on top of that. Oh, well done. Yeah, I forgot the third. The third attack gets an extra D eight damage. So, well done. Right. Okay, Crydle. Uh, so, Draconic Cry, huh? That means I've got yeah. advantage. That yeah. means I got sneak attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it, get it, boy. Uh, so, Bavlorn is within melee reach for me. If I run, yes. up, If I run over to her, I mean it's a air air balloon basket, so I guess I don't have to move very much. Uh, so yes, I would just like to run over there. And just start stabbing. <laughs> so I started, oh, I started stabbing. stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, violence! Here we go. All right. So uh, I'm going Here to I roll. Go great and violence again. It's the cause yeah. of and the answer to all of our problems. <laughs> you know, you beat me to it. I was gonna draconic kind of cry. So thank you. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Um, all right. So I didn't mark because I forgot. That's gonna be a twenty-one. <laughs> No wait, I need it. I have advantage. Hold on. Yep. See if you get oh. that crit. Yeah. Nope. Twenty one. Crit fish. <laughs> does twenty one hit? Uh, twenty one does hit. Yeah, solid. Excellent. And the damage shall be. Oh boy, shall be. Oh, okay. That's going to be uh, eight total damage from okay. my dagger. Okay. You do eight. Just kind of go damage. for one of her fingers, just like. Boop. <laughs> but it's a really good. Boop. Yep, it's a good one. Uh, okay, so uh, Tyrell and Celeste, who would like to go first? Would you? Um, I, I was going to offer you. Uh, I have a minus one in dex, so you would be faster. <laughs> ah, a little faster. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. Okay. Um, hi. No, don't eat us. Moonbeam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and she goes, Moon, wah, wah! <laughs> uh, She needs to make a constitution saving throw, DC 15. Okay. I rolled a nine. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so they are going to take 11, and I think it's radiant damage? Well, it's been, yes. Uh, 11 radiant damage. Uh, okay. If it's a shape changer, it would have made that with disadvantage. Also, it immediately becomes what it's supposed to be. Mm. Although, if you show up as a frog creature, I feel like you're proud of your frog creatureness. <laughs> um, and I just keep moonbeaming. I'm Iron Manning it up. The, and I'm just <laughs> with one arm. I'm just like. No, I, no. I like the idea that like Tyrell is completely slouched in all other like <laughs> uh, posture, but has like this hand out shooting a massive beam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just like ricochets straight through her and like off into the distance. Um, oh, I love it. And then, and then, do I want to be ridiculous? I yes. Mean, you're a bunch of kobolds in a hot air balloon fighting a toad lady. Great. Then I'm going to wild shape. <laughs> be, be, because I can hold concentration on something while I'm wild shaped, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn into my, my bear form, my starry bear form. I know we're not in space anymore, but I like being a space bear. And so, you know Tyrell, I'm gonna give you that because it's the space bear specifically. It doesn't affect the weight of the balloon at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> All just squished up. Oh, yep. Bear again. yep. 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 <laughs> Um, and yeah, so now I am a space bear shooting a moonbeam out of my mouth. <laughs> yes, there is there is the shape of a bear that is made up of star stuff and constellations now standing there shooting a moonbeam. I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Girls, you are the, me, huh? You are the greatest Pokemon. Um, yes! <laughs> you're the best legally distinct Pokemon. Uh, Celeste, it is your turn. Okay, um... I'm going to step forward kind of like, uh, not triumphantly, but like heroically almost and, mm -hmm. and be like, Bavlorna, I don't think you understand. When we kill something, it stays dead. <laughs> I'm going to guiding bolt at her. Yeah. You have advantage because of Draconic Cry. Yeah. I'm glad I do. That's a good attack to have advantage on. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. then it also gives advantage again. Yeah. Uh, 19 to hit. Oh, yeah. Good hit. Uh, I'm just doing it first level, so ooh, that was pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. 16. Wow. 16 damage. Nice. Yep. And then, yeah, the next attack has advantage because she's glowing. It's just everything is glowing around here. <laughs> You've suddenly turned this hot air balloon into a rave real fast. <laughs> um, 
Uh, <laughs> Babylon is like, why do I feel like dancing? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think this time, uh, uh, you know, the she she tried the uh, the the throwing a tiny version of herself, and that didn't work that well. So she's gonna use her multi attack. Oh. Um, okay. And, hold on, hmm? hold on a second. Uh, uh, so she starts her turn in in my moonbeam, which means she needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, because I I still have her my moonbeam. <laughs> but wait, 16? it gets worse. Um, that does pass, so she's gonna take oh. half this damage, which I actually rolled sixteen okay. damage, so it's uh five, twelve. Why can't I suddenly do math? Eight. Six- yeah, eight, 16, eight. Yeah, yeah, eight radiant damage as I'm just continuing to bah at her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise you hear. You hear bah. the inception bah noise yeah. coming out That's of the, the starburst. That's mouth. the bass. It's For really hard yeah. to talk over that too. Bah. <laughs> bah. Yeah, it's never ending. Um, okay, well, uh, then she's gonna take that damage and then do her multi-attack, and she is going to attack. You know what? Let's just randomly decide on this. Uh, it's gonna be Cridal. Okay. Uh, Cridal, you're getting, uh, bit, and then yep. a, uh, a withering beam is gonna get shot at you. I did, Ooh. I did totally forget that I was, I was gonna move away and <laughs> hide, and I, I just straight up forgot to do yeah. that. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. There, this there is my goes. punishment. <laughs> All right. So, the bite attack. I'm busy voguing uh, for the camera. Is 21 to hit, which I'm pretty sure is going to hit you. Uh, so, yeah. that is 13 points of piercing damage, uh, and you are grappled. Um, I would like to, Uncanny Dodge, reaction to half that damage, please. Okay. You can totally do that. Thank um, you. And then she's uh, uh, gonna, as Grab part it. of her multi attack, uh, use this withering beam. Ooh. So, mm. but she has advantage because yeah. you're grappled. Oh That's... no, I don't love that. Oh wait, no, no, no. you don't. Aha! I was wrong. Your speed is zero. Uh, okay, yeah. so uh, then that would have been fourteen now. to hit. Fourteen is my AC. Okay, so you get hit by the withering beam and take 17 points of necrotic damage. Oh. No. Should have dodged that one. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, your armor? I, I, I have worse news. Um, she then on, picks man. you up and goes, and swallows oh, no! you whole. You know, no, actually, everyone, this makes what I wanted to do on my turn <laughs> easier. <laughs> Okay. So I'm okay so, with this. So you are blinded you. and restrained uh, now that this giant frog lady has Okay, uh, well, maybe that's you. not great. Um, and, yeah, we'll find out what else happens to you at the start mm. of your turn. Um, so now we're going to go to – I love the fact that, that that part of it was the was a bonus action. That's just great. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> So, uh, Shandy, uh, you just watched the terrifying so toad lady just uh, eat one of your friends. Yeah. Well, that's not okay. Um, uh, so Shandy will, I will, with the bow drawn again, I will point at her and cast, uh, oh my God, what is it called? Hunter's Mark. If I didn't do that last turn. Okay. That gives me an extra D6 and stuff. Uh, and then I will make two attacks. Uh, first one was with advantage because of the, uh, because of the guiding bolt, I believe. Yes. Yeah. When is this, uh, when is this end? When is your chronic cry end at the start of my turn? Uh, go ahead and do your stuff, and I will find out. Yeah, I think okay, it's... so start your, start your next turn. Yeah, so that's over. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, okay, first attack is with the advantage. It's a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. Good solid hit. Okay, so that is 11 points of damage plus the D6 for Hunter's Mark. 11. Uh, so 16 total for that one. Nice. Uh, and then second one is a 28 to hit. Oh, yeah. For eight points plus D6 plus another five, so 13. Okay. And these two, four, two, it's aiming for the eyes this time. Just, just two more arrows. I love it. I, I, <laughs> she does have big giant eyes. You don't quite impale them, but <laughs> you, ah, you're, yeah, she's dodging. She's still getting hit because she's like, not my eyes. <laughs> um, 
I'll go hide behind the bear. <laughs> yeah, I do right. the bear. Yeah. Cridal, at the start of your turn, uh -huh. uh, please take 10 points of acid damage as you uh, fall into uh, Bavlorn, Bavlorna's stomach. Okay. Yeah. I'm still up. That's good. Barely. That's me. All right. Oh, that's true. So that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you, you hear from within Bavlorna. Great job, guys. <laughs> Keep it up. This is all going just like we practice in our weirdly specific training drills. Hey, shut up in there. <laughs> she hits herself. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm not just a rogue. I'm I'm a th I'm a thief. So I've got all those acrobatic things that the thief rogues get, right? Okay. All right. I'm going to either make you very happy or very upset right now. Why not both? I don't get upset at the both? table. Well, so. um, yeah. I'm looking at blinded. Can't uh -huh. see. Yeah. And I fail any ability check that requires sight. I'm going to argue this doesn't require sight. Okay. Uh, attack rolls have advantage against me, and the creature yeah. attack rolls have advantage. This is not an attack. Yeah. And restrained. My speed is zero. Don't care. Uh, and I have disadvantage on deck saves. Don't care. So okay. there's nothing about my situation that prevents me from using my bonus action mm -hmm. for fast hands to make a sleight of hand check. Okay. So that I can get out my trusty immovable rod <laughs> and then use my action to activate it. <laughs> Inside the hag. A classic maneuver. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Is, is the balloon still moving or did it yes. stop? Bavlorn is about to stop. Yeah, by credit. <laughs> Um, okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Uh, okay, so th so you're you're gonna you're gonna use that ability as your bonus action, get it out, and then as your action, activate the rod. Uh huh. I'm very good with my hands, even in a weird situation like this. Okay. So I specked into that with my thief. Uh, so Rogus. it doesn't it doesn't quite have the intended effect that you want uh i feel like you may have been thinking that maybe it's gonna uh go down uh, taking her with it um but it actually just stops right there and you yeah. can feel uh, you can feel her around you uh kind of do this like we're <laughs> like no that's what i thought you, and all of you outside you the balloons <laughs> moving and all of a sudden Bevel is like hey, <laughs> <laughs> Good old uh, stop as, rod. As Nothing beats uh, stop rod. You can see that she's on this like floating <laughs> lily lily pad, um, and like, like literally, like she's completely moving, but her stomach is like holding her in place, and uh, she's like reaching after you. <laughs> now let me out, and I'll turn it off. <laughs> Shut up, you! And she's gonna hit herself again. <laughs> She, she just starts, they actually just feel that she's just hitting herself, trying to hit the off switch. Um, <laughs> okay, that's Cridal's Tyrell. What do you do now that uh, Bavlorn is not in your moonbeam? Well, uh, so as an action, I can move it up to 60 feet. Is she moved out of, out of my 60 foot range? No. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to fire my laser this way, and then Bavlorn goes that way. I just go, ah, and I move it. <laughs> Um, I don't think anything actually happens. I think it all happens on her turn once I've cast it. Uh, let me triple check that. Uh, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So I think at this point, it, it it's on her turn. Um, okay. And then, and then I don't, yeah, I guess uh, Tyrell's just going to get on his hind legs and put his front paws on the, the side of the basket and continue to just moonbeam at her okay because, because that's all he wants to do this is this is fun ah. keep, keep the spotlight on bavlorn i love it uh celeste uh it is your turn what would you like to do hmm. okay uh so to clarify she's not in the basket of the no no she was off she was off okay. on the side and now we're like drifting apart yeah with with cradle yeah, you you probably got about know. twenty feet. I've been in worse scrapes. <laughs> you got twenty feet between you and uh, uh, and Bevlorna. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, well, it is time to become a cartoon. Uh, yes. That's what I... we're here for. <laughs> it's the uh, whole game. I want to cast spiritual weapon behind her as a like just a giant hand and I just want to pat her on the back really hard to try and cough up Cridal <laughs> and spew him into our basket. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I actually take one so artistic sweet. liberty with it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so well first off, make make the make the attack with the spiritual weapon. Let's see what right. let's see what happens here. Oh no. That's eleven. Oh, okay, that one is going to miss. Mm. But that was your bonus action, I think, to, to have the spiritual um, weapon come out. It is a bonus action to cast it. Bonus action to attack as well, yeah. yeah. It, it, and, it's part of, yeah. and it's part of the bonus yeah. action. Right. So if you okay. want, you can use a, an action to do something else. If you want to do another guiding bolt or something. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I'll... <laughs> Guiding Bolter in the stomach to try and basically the same thing, but from the other direction. You spit him up! <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 16. That hits! Nice. Okay. Guiding Bolt damage. Oh, that's bad. Seven. Uh, okay, so so here's the artistic liberty I was taking with that spiritual weapon. Okay. So a hand appears behind Bavlorna and taps her on the shoulder. <laughs> and uh, she goes, what? And the, the hand points back towards you all. And she looks back just as the beam's coming at her. And she goes, <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> and it hits her and she just explodes into tiny ducklings. <laughs> there they are. That all start just flittering slowly down towards the ground. Uh, and then there's Cridal sitting just in the air for a moment. And then you start falling. <laughs> and I, and I grab my rope, throw it out and cast rope trick. Ooh. Ooh. The rope will just dangle in the air as it explodes. And they, that, you know that, that split second cartoon where they, they're hovering in the air for a second before yeah, they go yeah. down. It's in that looking left, right. I'm like rope trick and just like throw it out. All right. Uh, so you're, you, I'm not even gonna have you roll for it because that's a that's really freaking cool. Well that's done. Really cool. uh, you just grab you 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 appear in the air with ducks around you, and then you see a yeah. rope and you grab it and you swing. <laughs> it's like we practice. Yeah. <laughs> just like Great work, we team. I quickly close my muzzle because oh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to hit any of the baby ducklings. Oh, actually, God. it's even better. You you don't fall because you had an immovable rod next to you. Thank you for pointing that out, uh, our green paradox. Uh, so yeah, you could, you just you just can grab onto it, deactivate, and swing. There we go. Yep. Don't forget your rod. Yeah. I need Good to stop rod. I need to know now that it's done. When you activated the rod in her stomach, was it uh, vertical or horizontal? In in my head, I was thinking horizontal okay. because I thought that'd be more painful for her. I mean, both have their their positives and their negatives. I just needed Ooh. to know which one you were thinking of. Vertical, you need you need grip strength to hold on to that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Talavar uh, kind of comes crawling out of the uh, balloon where he was hiding. He goes, "Is the scary lady gone?" Yes, and this time she better not come back. Ah, uh, yeah. No, that was uh, that was not cool. It was not cool at all. <laughs> but it was cool how she turned into a bunch of ducks. Tyrrell says, yeah. is he unwild shapes so you <laughs> can was, suddenly talk again? That, that was really weird. It, it was almost like someone who uh, didn't know how to end that fight just kind of did something. <laughs> <laughs> well, God be damned, I guess. Ducks have happened before. It's not that strange. Oh. Well, as long as there's a precedent, I guess it's fine. <laughs> this happens all the time. I'm still swinging on the rope under the basket. <laughs> It's just like a constant rope swing because the basket's moving. Yeah. <laughs> how, how you doing, Cridal? Uh, I'm I'm great because I'm a thief. I've got second story work, so like I'm <laughs> great with climbing things. So I'm great with ropes. This this is just fun. Honestly. How does Cridal look right now? Oh, I'm death's door, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's I see that I pieces yeah. of me that are missing. Yeah, just sagging. <laughs> <laughs> He's, let's get him in the let's get him in the basket. We he's can, going man, you we as like here right now. Yeah, there's <laughs> we you go wee, and then he's there's intestine, intestine. He should be in the hospital. Intestine. Yeah. <laughs> like 
like we had a discussion before we started streaming about uh catchphrases and i really want that to be cried i'm at death's door baby <laughs> <laughs> Sold. Oh, it's so I good. love it. Okay. Uh, well, a, 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 anyone doing anything uh, in these moments after the fight, or just carrying on towards the palace? I'm, I'm going to cast a cure wounds on on a uh, Okay. I, I was going to do. Um, I am life domain cleric, so I was going to do my channel divinity. Uh, oh, I will hold off then. Yeah. So, because uh, nice. that's a short rest, which is great. So preserve life. I, have a pool of 25 HP um, just to share with everyone. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think the more majority would go to Cridal, but Shandy also, you got hit. A bit. I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm down about 10 hit points. Yeah. Okay. So how about you get five and Cridal gets 20. That's good. Thank cool. you. Healer. If nobody else got me. I know Celeste got me. Always. And I've like got holding like, a cure wounds in my hand. Like, okay. I guess I've got like a handkerchief <laughs> and I'm getting goo off of your face. Yeah. Like, Clerics so for the win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, just totally doing the mom thing of just like, oh, he's got a little flow right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little schmutz right there. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit schmutz, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so so you leave a trail of uh, of small little ducklings that are flo floating down towards the ground below you. They're learning uh, to fly. At, <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as you continue on through Prismere. Um, couple couple hours pass, and the Palace of Heart's Desire gets closer. As you all approach, you know you kind of got this dramatic scene of this lone balloon heading towards this massive structure out in the Feywild. There are these massive vines that have kind of grown up around certain areas that don't quite look Feywildish, but they are very imposing. Ooh. And Everyone give me perception checks. Ooh. Would the hours have counted as a short rest for us? Sure. Hey. Okay. You wouldn't be hey. doing much. I got 12. So I immediately get back that channel divinity. Yeah. <laughs> I heal back to full. <laughs> Nine. Cool. Uh, so you said perception check, right? Yes. Okay. 19. 20, 21. Ooh. Uh, so the two Oval of you... Die C. Uh, don't have a problem noticing something odd happening um, above the palace. And maybe it's because of uh, very recent events that you've kept an eye out for uh, <laughs> such, uh, uh, you know, weather uh, happenings. But there seems to be a very dark black cloud that is slowly growing in size above the palace. It's got a really bad heart's desire, don't they? <laughs> hmm. Someone has a desire for thunderstorms. Yeah, it's good when you're inside, though. You get a bit of a book. You can <laughs> cocoa. Yeah, very lovely. comfy, comfy reading Sunday. Uh, yeah. But Tyrell, does that look like a, a natural storm cloud to you? I'm gonna look real close at it. Does this one look like a natural storm cloud? Give me another nature check. Nature, nature. Weather's part of nature, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if you say so. Man, uh, it would be great if they if they made a meteorologist skill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think that's just druidcraft. I mean, I think this <laughs> yeah, because part of druidcraft is I could just go, "What's the weather for the next yeah. twenty four hours?" Which <laughs> is, is something that I love using. Uh, but in this case, I got a fifteen for is this cloud a nope cloud or a yes cloud? Uh, th this is not a good cloud. This is not a natural forming cloud. In fact, as you're looking at it, it seems to be growing in size even faster. Well, I'm going to stop looking at it so it stops growing in size. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for everyone else who is still looking at it, that does not have the intended effect. It still is growing at a uh, very fast speed. Celeste, that's not a normal cloud. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it's getting real big. <clears throat> you can actually see now this cloud is growing in such size that it's kind of eclipsing the palace and a form is starting to grow at the center of it the first thing that you notice is what looks like two uh pointed parts of a collar a popped yeah. collar you might say and this face forms into the clouds with these 
glowing red eyes and bits of cloud coming down to seem to form a long beard. And you uh, hear a voice say, I see you! And a hand reaches out of the clouds, the size of the balloon, and just completely encloses all of you in complete oh. darkness. No, my Up clothes are so 2010. That's actually <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and you all are unconscious. Oh, oh man. <laughs> well, I right. mean, it's a long rest. Hey, everybody. Good job, guys. Thank, thanks good game. for joining us for the game. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, Great go game. So much fun. Put your skins right now in game. Yeah. Everyone's dead. Yep. Okay. TPK. Rocks, rocks fall. Hour and seven minutes in. Yeah. Remember the hag fight? That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Clouds uh, form, everybody was... dies. Yeah. And Sorry, War Duke. Yeah. Better luck next time. Yeah. Someday so we'll get those toys. I have good news. Wait, Lauren actually left. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I heard there's good news. Please, <laughs> someone yeah. gift that. Please, someone <laughs> gift that. <laughs> oh my God, um, where are you? <laughs> so, Bravo. you all benefit from a long rest. <gasps> hey. Oh. Hey. The longest of rests. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and Tyrol. Hi. You wake up. Oh. It's kind of uh, it's kind of bright where you are. And as your vision comes back to you, you find yourself laying on a bed, a very stiff bed. Um, in fact, you just kind of feel stiff all over. Like you just got this, like, ugh, you can't quite, can't quite get that kink out of your, out of your shoulder or something. And you look around and you're in a room of pinks, tans, and blues. And there are different sorts of furniture. There's, you know, some some uh, dresser drawers. There's a, a vanity. There's a nightstand. Um, but it's all, it all looks wrong. It's not made out of anything that you recognize. It's kind of got this, like, hard material form to it that's shiny in some places. And actually, as you look down at the bed, you touch it and it's totally solid. There's grooves that make it look like it's a blanket and can and can move and whatnot, but it's just stuck where it is. Oh, well, that's why everything feels so bad. Ah, this is well, not natural fibers. No. Well, a little more terrifying for you. You also don't seem to be made of natural fibers anymore. As you kind of bang away on the, on that bed, it makes this hollow sound from you and the bed. Did I lose all my internal organs again? <laughs> Ooh, I would listen to my own chest, but I'm not. I, uh, and I try to <laughs> put my head to my chest, which of course doesn't work. But uh. you, you you see that there's the, there's that vanity, and you go over, and you and it. You expect to see yourself, but you can kind of only blurrily see yourself. And you kind of look at the mirror, and, and it seems that, like, it's like almost like reflective paper that's been stuck to this hard material. But you can see yourself enough to see that you've lost a lot of mobility in certain areas. Your arms kind of only do this. Your elbow kind of only does this. You don't really have this sort of motion with your hand like <laughs> you 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 don't have as many points of articulation that you might have at one time have i been turned into a toy you have hey i'm the thing that we're looking for <laughs> i didn't know i could wild shape into an action figure this is awesome <laughs> and i'm i'm just going to continue to explore my my new wild shape <laughs> That's what Tyrell thinks has happened. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Celeste, how does Celeste react to finding uh, herself in a very similar situation and also now a toy? <clears throat> Am I also like alone in a, in a room? Yep. Um, I think the first thing would be to like jump up and learn how to make all these things move so that I can walk and like pick up things and, and whatnot. And then immediately go to the door. And do I have finger movement? Uh, you you can. Uh, you're able to like, yeah, get get it just enough to, to grab the doorknob and turn it. Okay, yeah. Celeste is a 
a kobold of action and wishes to find their her friends. Uh, I just realized that I meant to actually put an action figure near me so that I can do the like the, the thing. <laughs> that uh, I, have them. I, uh, I have an action figure that is too articulated to do it. So here's a meal. Oh, Everyone wait. Everyone enjoy uh, a meal. <laughs> for what? For for whatever reason, I actually think I do have. Yeah, I have one of the characters from the Mandalorian <laughs> in my dress in my desk door uh, desk drawer for some reason. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you you uh. You kind of you kind of got this like little like de- 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 way of moving, <laughs> um, but yeah, you open the door and you find yourself in what looks like a living room, and there are several other doors and there's a set of stairs leading up, but uh, two of the doors are open and you see Shandy and Cradle also standing there, also toys, and you both have also just woken up and opened the doors pretty confused about what's going on my god you're a child's plaything you are a toy (laughs) yeah yeah i hate when this happens (laughs) how many times does this happen to you why do we keep getting polymorphed into stuff that that we don't have any right being (laughs) that's actually a point are we the kobold versions of ourselves as yes, toys? Yes, you're the kobold or... versions okay, of okay. yourselves as toy versions of oh, We're just kobold. knockoffs Boy, of the original. This is amazing. <laughs> These skin teasers are getting complicated. I open up the door, because I'm assuming I can hear them on the other side of, of my door. And I open up the door, and I'm like, this is several levels of Inception wild shaping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny um, is just practicing trying to like pull the bolstering with like the m- limited movement. That she has, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anybody it, it, have a kung fu action? <laughs> no, I have to shoot sideways. <laughs> I'm inspecting the details because I want to make sure that they got everything as accurate as possible. There are some areas uh, of, of, like, especially of your clothes and whatnot that you thought would be a little more detailed, but they're just kind of like flat plastic that has been painted Ooh. on. You're like, oh, that's disappointing. That's cheap knockoffs. Do we? But do we have all of our stuff? You do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all your stuff. Uh, and as you all get into this room and start talking, you actually hear kind of like a rattling noise coming from the kitchen. Oh, maybe there's more people wild shaped. Let's check it out. I'm gonna... Oh, I should note that the light in this place is coming from these little uh, electric bulbs that are uh, on the wall. Uh, but all of the windows aren't windows they're just stickers of an outside like nice looking neighborhood <laughs> are um, we really tiny i mean it's it's hard to know ain't it we don't have a point of reference yeah i say to scale i think we're, no, we're normal our normal mm-hmm. cobalt okay. i mean done. i mean i mean we could find this out real <laughs> fast but i think i would yeah. break something <laughs> I would like to stealth my way over to the kitchen. Yeah. All right. Roll Cradle will put check. that into his her, yeah. his back pocket. Yeah. I, I will join said stealth. Nat right. 20 plus 9, 29. Jeez. I got a 21. Cradle action figure uh, comes with stealth action. So, <laughs> yeah, that, it, it is kind of uh, odd how uh, two people who just move like this, uh, <laughs> are able to uh, quietly go over to the kitchen area. And what the two of you see is, um, you know, a nice looking kitchen, And but specifically there's a kitchen table with what looks like a toolbox set on it. And the toolbox is just kind of... That be, should that be doing that? Maybe. You want to? Do you want me? Do you want you? Do you want to open me? Oh, you. Yeah, I don't want to touch it. All right, go. T- go ahead. No, no, you. Oh, me? No, no, no about you. Rock paper scissors. No. Yeah. Little parchment yeah. shears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rock and paper. Paper. Scissors. 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 Oh. Scissors. Oh, I, th- I thought we were doing the extended. Oh cut. no! Sorry. Well, I you kept it at rock scissors. So I guess. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. I would much prefer if you died to the weird <laughs> box thing. I'll remember that next time you're floating in midair on a immovable rod, in the, <laughs> body, in the body of a hag. Celeste uh, got me. <laughs> While this is going on, speaking of Celeste, Celeste and, and Tyrrell, I think we're still back in the living room, and Tyrrell has has just started staring off into space, thinking about what happens if he turns into a large animal at this very moment, and then looks over <laughs> at you and says, "Oh, where'd the others go?" 
They're checking in the kitchen. There was a weird noise. Oh, I could use a snack. Yeah. <laughs> Should we follow them? Uh, we'll wait until they say it's safe. I think. Oh, I will okay. pull out a crowbar, which is, I guess, I'm assuming a little plastic crowbar now. Yep. And just like yes. crack it open. So you actually, as you get close to this thing, all of a sudden the toolbox stops shaking, and then starts to change. And it goes, bah, 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 and all of a sudden there is a humanoid, weird-looking Warforge standing in front of you. Um, and he says, ah, good, the combatants are here. I look back to Krylo and go, not good. <laughs> yeah, okay, not good. Call back to the others. Yeah. Oh, not good. We should go in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said they were going to call for us. Okay. Hi, yeah. what's wrong? So you, you all run in there, weapons ready. No, and, uh, I, I saunter in going, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the uh, the weird looking Warforge goes incorrect. I am not a combatant. You four are combatants. I mean, oh. only when I absolutely need to be. I'm I'm a a, a hey, hugger, not only, a fighter. We're only combatants if you're a combatant. Yeah. No, you are a combatant for the arena. I am here to offer help. Oh. Oh. What Can kind we... of help? Uh, he raises yeah. up his arms, and these uh, little small machine parts kind of come off of it. Uh, upgrades. Uh, oh. Can you upgrade us back yes. into our our flesh and blood bodies? The, the war force thing looks at his arms. No, that would be weird. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I this is better. What do you got? Yeah, what do you... What do you <laughs> what, do, what do you got? Well, I could I offer you. So on board and there, there's some like some more of that brum, 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 brum sound, uh, legally distinct sound. Uh, and he goes, "I can offer you chopping action." And he starts going like this, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you hear some more brum, 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 And he's, like, "I can also offer you spinning attack." And the top part of his waist just starts spinning in 360 as he I, holds I his dock arms out very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's, okay. a, there's another <laughs> bam, 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 sound, and he holds out his hand. Fire action attack! And, uh, oh. like, this magical ball of plastic fire appears in his hand. and just goes, bing! Does it, does it look like a flaming marshmallow? <laughs> <laughs> like, it sounds like a spring. No, it uh, doesn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, then there's one more. <laughs> and uh, he's, he says, and also, glowing symbol! We haven't gotten a better name for that one yet. And there's, a, there's like, a, a little... Uh, a humanoid shape that kind of resembles this person uh, that appears in their chest and starts glowing bright light uh, that you, you feel if you were standing in, you might maybe take some damage from. I mean, glowing symbol is, is a cool name. It's very descriptive, which I like. Very, very obvious, which is nice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm thinking we put everything on Tyrrell and then Tyrrell turns into a giant bear or something. Each of you get one. Ah oh, man. Can I give mine to Tyrrell? <laughs> no. You can either think. take one or leave. Listen, listen. You don't want to give me any of the weapon stuff because when I turn into a giant bear, it's all going to go away. I, I think the bear gets the spinning attack. Yeah. Yeah. Sp giant spinning bear giant sounds terrible. Spinning bear, yeah. I mean, honestly, I was going to take the glowing symbol just so that I could once again. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm firing yeah. two lasers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bah, bah. Pretty much. I want a Care Bear and and shoot lasers. Oh my god, the Care Bear scare. No. I want to do both. Yeah. Uh, I I wouldn't mind the fireball. I I'm not gonna get close. So chopping action, not good for me. Okay. If if, if, if fireball is okay with everybody else, unless so less than, unless you want fireball or anything. Uh, yeah, I'll I, take I, last I was, was kind of leaning fireball because I'm also not. Although, I don't know. It probably makes more sense for me to be. Uh, closer than you, but um, I don't feel like I'd use the other two. Paging up one thing real quick. Um... While this is all going on, because we are all action figures and we're in this mm -hmm. weird place and we've been sent to find an action figure, Tyrrell wants to cast a spell. Okay. <laughs> I want to cast locate object. I yes! Want, I want to locate the Warduke action figure. Um, That's fantastic. So, it does is... it count as an object or a person in this instance? <laughs> oh yes. God, that's very true. Um, 
Uh, it is near. Okay. Cool. So I know its location and the direction it's moving in, and I can keep concentration on this up to 10 minutes, so I can just track it. So it's, okay. how far it away is, is it? it like, it's mm. that way. Okay. Um, and it's, I mean, at your size, <laughs> it, it it's it's fairly far away. Okay. Oh, uh, the War Duke action figure is that way. Is it close? Oh. Uh, it's within a thousand feet. <laughs> close enough, hopefully. And I'm gonna start moving in that direction, and Tyrell starts just counting one. Two, three. Cheryl, don't you want your upgrade toy? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I got distracted f- f- finding the that's, thing. Oh, that's okay. I'll, you were you were focused on our goal, and that's great. I was. I just got distracted by our goal. <laughs> it counts as focus. Okay. So so who who's getting what? I don't know which one do you want. I mean that chopping action sounds pretty good for stabbing, you know. Just, just kind of goes with it. That's Are you, you sure just you don't want I, like two I daggers do, so. and just whirlwind around? <laughs> you could be your own cloud of daggers. <laughs> oh, you know what? That sounds fantastic. <laughs> I do, in fact, have two knives. Um, I'll take spinning action. That doesn't look like it hurts my spine at all. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take the chopping action then. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, then yes, I'm happy with the fireball. Okay, so like giving you sounds like everybody's take, taking one of them. Yes. Okay, cool, perfect. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop these into chat because I actually wrote these out. Yes, um, yes, yes. And which, which you, chat? Uh, the 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 Zoom chat. Okay. Because Zoom. Just to make sure everything is going well. Um, I mean, poke behind the screen, everybody. We have multiple chats. We have mul- we, we have so many oh, chats. Many. We yeah. have all the chats, especially for those uh, of us actually- who are producing things. I'm actually going to change the thing with the, the chopping action just so that it works a little bit better with your character. Oh. Um, so, there we go. Oh, God. <gasps> uh, that is all four of them there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, oh, nice. And, okay. Uh, yeah, so so essentially, as you made your decisions, uh, the uh, weird-looking Warforged, you know, changes uh, up a few things and steps forward and goes, by the way, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Wrench. Alan Wrench. And he just starts going to work. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, before you know it, um, Shandy, uh, you have a, ha, Shandy has this button on her back now uh, that as she uh, starts going like this, it looks like the button's pressing and she's going around. Uh, Cridal, you can twist your torso around and there's this clicking sound and then let it go and yeah uh, let it rip <laughs> <laughs> um and uh, uh, uh celeste you can create these plastic fireballs now w- uh with your hand and uh last but not le- at least tyrell uh actually the the pack antic spell jammers logo appears in your plastic chest <laughs> and uh at your command starts glowing <laughs> I've always wanted a tattoo. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that is where we're going to take a break. Uh, we're going to take a, a quick 10 minute break uh, and come back and see what uh, is awaiting them in the arena. So, the arena. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so stick around. We'll be right back. Bye. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, we are actually going to cut to right as the four of you are leaving this house. And you open the door, and there is a flood of cheering that enters your ears as you step out into what seems to be a massive arena. And you kind of look back, and there's what looks like a two-story pink and blue house just sitting off to the side of one of them. We, uh, point of, yeah, what's up there? Uh, are we going in the direction of War Duke or away? Or... Yes, you are going in the direction of War Duke. Okay, all right. Um, oh, we're and, going We're going towards the toy, okay. And this whole structure seems to be made out of uh, different colored bricks of some legally distinct sort. 
uh you know it's just yellows reds blues blacks whites all all these things just no real rhyme or reason to it you feel like there should be some rhyme or reason like if somebody maybe took a little extra time they could have done it but they just kind of just did whatever <laughs> they felt like um and in the stands are just all sorts of creatures there's a giant pink bear that's like yay uh there's more of those weird looking war forge that are just kind of cheering along there's one row that's all dragons and in front of it there's a row of all knights and they seem to be getting along great and, yeah exactly just like that one yeah they're, they're all they're all just like yeah Woo! Yeah! Um, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, you hear, you all hear this booming voice from all around you, uh, that says, welcome to the arena. <laughs> and you look up and you see this massive they person, love. uh, that looks <laughs> as the description of Kellick that you were given. Uh, oh. but he, he is holding a little toy Kellick and holding it down towards you all and is shaking it as he talks. He goes, you are all in the arena now and you must, uh, 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 what was it? Oh, I know why you're here. And if you want your prize, you must survive the arena. <laughs> and then you also turn us back. Uh, 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 yeah, sure. That too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I think he's just lonely. <laughs> I think he just needs a friend. <laughs> and uh and you see this this form kind of disappear into the darkness from above. Uh and but the voice continues uh and uh it says your first challenge has been made specifically for this fight. You will not be able to stop the disgusting, the nasty and the absolute unnerving things. And uh you see something moving in the darkness, this giant shape, and it just comes down out of the sky and boom, hits the ground. And you all kind of, Whoa. yeah, you kind of get one of those Star Trek moments going there. And this thing is, it looks like a giant oven. And it's made of like yellow, green, and, and uh, neon colored plastic. And the, the oven door just boom falls open and there's just darkness inside. And then there's a, there's a little, little hint of light that comes up as what looks like a, a real big light bulb uh, turns on inside and pulling themselves out of this oven, I guess, uh, are these strange looking shapes. And they are all dark, multicolored versions of things that you recognize. For instance, there's a large beetle that's kind of just crawling out of there with this big, uh, you know, forked little horn. There are a group of skeletons that are kind of wobbling a little bit. They don't seem like they're made of as uh, uh, tough material as what you are. Uh, there is uh, also uh, tiny little insects that all come crawling down over the door, forming a swarm. Uh, and lastly, there is uh, what looks to be a, a mummy, but like it's uh, the 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 strap. What's what? 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 what, what, what the, the wrappings. There we go. That's that's a better thing. Uh, the wrappings aren't moving. They're just kind of there. Uh, the li little bits that are hanging off wiggle a little bit. Um, <laughs> They, they, they look to be made like they look kind of like an ooze kind of material, but more a little more solid. Uh, and, uh, and the voice says, now fight! <laughs> and you're, what, we're going to roll initiative. What if we don't yeah. want to? What if we just want to talk? Well, too bad. You're going to fight because that's what I wanted to do. Is this, <laughs> is this like a Play-Doh-like oven? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it is a, a legally distinct uh, light up oven that may or may not have creepy sort of things that move try, on the I, I, ground. I'm trying to remember what the uh, what that thing is actually called. I, yeah, uh, people I in chat I, have said it. I a friend of mine had one of these when I was a little kid, and we played with it all the time. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna do a couple of rolls here. 
Um, give me one moment. As and I got roll. a plus into initiative, but I roll not so good. Well, you know, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it does indeed happen. And then we're going to get that one. Okay, so we're going to split these into two groups. Wrong pen. That's that. And. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, Tyrell. Hi. What did you get for initiative? 16. Uh, Cradle. 18. Nice. Celeste. Uh, I got a natural 20 with a minus one, so 19. Hey. Oh, nice. that cleric initiative. And Shandy. Uh, 13. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, hang on one second. I'm getting pinged about something that I didn't realize. Um, I didn't realize this was happening right now, so that's even better. I don't know if it's happening now, but. Um, okay, so yeah, we're, we're going to have a giveaway at some point, folks. So stick around, and you'll find out what it is. Um, I'm oh, sure they're going to let me know in an appropriate place when this is going to happen. <laughs> if it helps, they did talk about this on Bardic Inspiration. So okay, good. It is, it is uh, okay, not, okay. Cool. yeah. Okay. It is... We're going to be giving away uh, a, an original 1983 War Duke action figure. So cool. So wow. stick around for that. So cool. and uh, I'm going to enter. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, I got to go to the office with a quick. I'll be right back. I, yeah. I, I believe that employees of Codename Entertainment and, just, and their subsidiaries are, are not I, eligible. I quit. Bye. No. <laughs> oh, let me just hop on no, my no, alt no. account real quick. <laughs> Where are my alt account. Um, it was really funny during the break. Uh, my uh, wife was like, "How is the game going?" And I told her what uh, uh, I had uh, put you all through. And she's like, "Wow, you really loved that show Kablam on Nickelodeon, didn't you?" <laughs> it's a good show. It's a good it was show. Really good show. Um, okay, so it looks like Celeste is actually going first. So Celeste, there is this massive arena, uh, and about. Uh, uh, 50 feet away from you, there are these creatures pulling themselves out of this giant oven. What would you like to do? Uh, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry. Finding the spell. <laughs> Finding the spell. There it is. Um, I am going to cast Spirit Guardians. Ooh. Um, Good one. So around 15 feet around me for uh, up to 10 minutes, concentration. Uh, I'm going to say they're little like plastic kobolds with angel wings that just like flit around. <laughs> little tiny, like sh like shoulder angel size. Like, boop, 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 boop. Um, yeah, so that will come into effect if something comes within 15 feet of me. Okay. Um, and I guess I'll run up so I'm like halfway towards them you said okay. they're like 50 feet away so it'll be like yeah. 25 feet yeah okay sounds good so yeah celeste uh moves on up with her <laughs> little celestial kobolds um and now let's see we're gonna have uh cridal cridal is overly excited <laughs> <laughs> this is like a dream come true kind of he is just elated with what is happening right now so he says, all right, just like we, nope, we didn't practice this one, whatever. Everyone attack! <laughs> Draconic cry, bonus action. And I would like to just rush in and get like up to as many enemies around me as possible and immediately use my spin attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not waiting for this one. I mean, okay. why, why wait? Yeah! Um, I will actually say, uh, so, so there are five skeletons, uh, you could run up so that you're, you're, uh, kind of in between four of them. Perfect. Yes. Okay. I want to smash four skeletons with my cool spin move. Let's do it. Yeah. Spin move. And because I did a draconic cry, I gave myself and my allies advantage for attacking. Oh, you get it yourself. So I get sneak attack too. What's mm -hmm. up? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. You know that kobolds that say kobolds are number one. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've Let it rip. It yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I made that cry. Cry like this, yeah. <laughs> this is a twenty-five to hit. Yep, that'll do it. Yep. All right, and now this is gonna be 
Uh, four d six because sneak attack plus three. Here we I go. I don't think I even need to write Two down these numbers. And <laughs> six and seven and five is twelve plus three, fifteen. As Cridal just goes in and tornado smash move. Whoa! <laughs> to all these skeletons. <laughs> okay, you are gonna need to roll for each one. Oh, okay. Yeah, but cool. you, so right. you totally fifteen yeah, for the first. You, you totally destroy one of them. Three, okay. Three, two, three, six, eight, ten, thirteen. Sixteen to the second one. Okay, another one down. <gasps> uh twenty-two to the third. Oh wait, no, no, you need you need to roll for attack. Are these attacks or are these damages? Oh sorry. Yeah, you I, gotta roll I, for I rolled a... one attack. Yeah, yeah, that was that was Yeah, uh... so you got you gotta roll an attack for each one. Okay, I misunderstood yeah. the ability. It's okay. All right, then here's the second attack roll for the damage I already rolled. <laughs> That would be a 24 to hit. Okay, so yeah, two of them down. Roll, the roll me another one, attack. Whoa. The third one is another 24 to hit. That'll do it. And the fourth one is going to be... That was an 8. That's a 14, so that's 20 to hit. And I okay. haven't rolled damage for that one yet. Okay, uh, give, give me some damage. 6, 9, and 14, and 20, 23. <laughs> So smash, 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 smash. You all see Cridal running up there, and as he has the, his torso is starting to like slowly <laughs> turn, and he's getting his arms into position, and he runs up to these four uh, jelly-like skeletons and just yeah, and just absolutely annihilates them, and just sends chunks of gummy everywhere. <laughs> Remind me to cancel my chiropractic appointment. I feel great. <laughs> or keep it. You're going to need it after today. <laughs> you know, you're probably right. Your spine um, is detaching and spinning. Not, not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you've cleared the area for that giant beetle to make a charge attack against you. Okay, I don't love that. <laughs> uh, you Actually. see this thing like slow, like doing the little like bowl thing and it starts charging straight at you. And I need you uh, to make, oh, oh, so it just makes an attack and then it gets extra, okay. So it's gonna make its normal attack with its uh, big old horn. Uh, does a uh, uh, twenty one hits you? I'm assuming. <laughs> Me? Yeah. 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 Uh, so you take ten points of bludgeoning damage from that attack. Uh, however, you take an extra seven because it was charging. Okay, I would like to uncanny dodge that thing. Okay, go for okay. that. Okay. Um, and now I need you to make a dexterity or not dexterity a strength saving throw. Oh, you had to, you okay? <laughs> All right, it's not a great one. Oh, eighteen. That's a great one. Uh, <laughs> That's a great I, one, actually. You, uh, you actually put your hands out and just kind of, like, stop it from knocking Ugh. you over. Yeah. Um, Plastic beats muscle up. mass. <laughs> um, and then uh, Celeste. Uh -huh. um, the uh, You see that those tiny little uh, bug things are crawling towards you and are now occupying the same area as you. Okay. Um, well, I will. I will give that the uh, the the guardians can can totally do their thing. Yeah. So as soon as they get into my space, uh, is a wisdom saving throw. Five. <laughs> that is a fail. So three d eight radiant damage. Sixteen. Nice. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, the, these uh, the swarm of bugs comes at you, and the the little angelic uh, kobolds are like, nah, 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 and they're like dive bombing uh, the the swarm. Uh, Hi, my pretties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so it doesn't get all of them. It does get quite a few. Okay. Uh, <laughs> But uh, then they are going to uh, make an attack. Um, so let's see. They're going to... So they're going to start crawling up on you. Okay. Oh, they rolled a natural 20. Oh. Well, oh. I took something just for this. Oh. Uh, I have a guardian emblem, so I turn that into a normal hit. Hey! hey All right. Nice. nice. Very nice. Um, okay. 
Um, oh, okay. Uh, so let's do the damage first. Uh, so that's just going to be normal. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then, so that's going to be those uh, two groups that went. So now we're going to drop down to, I believe, Tyrell. So this is an open air stadium that has it like, is. and so above us are the dark clouds of the the, the wizard, right? It kind of just goes off into darkness. You can't quite tell what is above you. Okay, okay. So, but but there might be clouds up there. Maybe. All right. <laughs> so Tyrell's gonna look up and look down and look up and look down and go wonder what this is gonna look like and i'm gonna cast Only call lightning out. yeah which love that spell if i am outdoors and there's an existing storm somewhere i i get extra lightning damage <laughs> so if if Kellic is above me being all uh uh cloudy and stuff what i what i imagine is Cheryl like well, he doesn't point because... Uh, well, I will like, say, he, it wasn't cloud form Kellic. It was like Kellic Kellic that was like looking oh, down on you all. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I mean, so go for it. I, I, I have an idea. Okay, so like a little bit of the cloud just comes down from, you know, whatever he was using to obscure himself before and then just gets real big. Um, is there a place where there's a, a majority of uh, bad dudes... Uh, within a five foot <laughs> space of each other. Quiddle's a bad dude. Uh, <laughs> enemies, enemies. Bad dude. Yeah, yeah I'm a bad there, dude. Uh, you could get the the giant beetle and one of the skeletons. Excellent. Uh, the giant beetle and one of the skeletons needs to make a dexterity saving throw. As all of a sudden, what? So lightning so, uh, gets uh, called uh, down, but well, so uh, so what it is is uh, that there's these uh, out of seemingly nowhere more of those building block like things kind of appear in the sky and create this gray cloud looking thing yeah and they kind of uh seem to be shifting and moving and then like a, a little uh plastic uh uh, uh lightning bolt just slowly goes uh is it building if it goes if it building if it goes down yes i love stop motion <laughs> and I'm okay with that because I get to concentrate on this for a while. So, so you said deck save, right? Yep, dexterity saving through a DC 15. Uh, the uh, beetle is going to fail. Awesome. Um, but <laughs> the skeleton. Oh wait, hang on. How does the skeleton? The skeleton made it. 19. Okay. So the skeleton <laughs> will take half of this 23 lightning damage. Beetle will take the whole thing as. Tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a <laughs> um, and, uh, let's see. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to continue to concentrate on that. Like, that was cool. I'm going to do that, that again. Cool. Um, and that's all I'm going to do for the moment because I kind of want to do something else next turn and I need to not be a bear. So okay. imagine the onomatopoeia being like zap, 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 zap all around it. Like <laughs> yeah. very comic book style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me. Uh, actually, you know what? It's so close, anyways. Uh, the the lightning slowly th 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 down, and the, the skeleton is like ha! -ha! And jumps to the side, and it hit the little lightning hits the ground and stops, and then a little bit goes, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and it hits the skeleton's toe, and he just explodes into gummy. <laughs> but for a moment, his skeleton is actually outlined in light. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, now, uh, let's see, so Tyrol went Shandy! Uh, what? right so now, it... from what you can see, there is a swarm of, uh, gummy insects on Celeste, there is a giant gummy beetle near Kreidel, and there is still a mummy that is making its way towards the, uh, the rest of y'all. Making my way. Um, okay, so swarm of, swarm of things on Celeste that'll probably die soon to the Spirit Guardians. Okay, I'm gonna take my first shot uh, at the beetle. Okay. Yeah. So, so I like actually I'm gonna move up. So I'm like right behind, like about like ten feet behind Celeste. So I'm in the circle, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and then from there I'll make a shot at the beetle. Okay. Uh, oh, and sorry, and bonus action, hunter's mark the beetle. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then so it's a seventeen uh, to hit. That will hit. Okay. So that is. Oh my god! It didn't show me the damage. What was it? Uh. 13 plus the hunter's mark. 
that is 18 points of damage for the first hunter's mark. So for the first for the first attack, okay. is it still up? Yes. All right. So I will make my second attack against the beetle as well, uh, which is another 18 to hit. Yeah. All right. That is 11 plus hunter's mark. Uh, 17 points of damage. Okay. God, it is tanky. still up. Oh, okay. Third attack. This is the, uh, what's it called? The Dread Ambusher one. That'll be a 17 to hit. Hit. Yeah. So this one is 11 plus a D6. These, these Hunter's Mark ones have been insane. Uh, 17 plus a D8. Jeez. 24 points of damage on that last attack. So, Crydle, you're holding this beetle at bay, and then all of a sudden, yeah. thing, 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 and these three arrows just perfectly land in its head, and you just feel it go kajunk. It's all force damage. It's all, all extra force damage. I'm just like blowing chunks of gelatin yeah. off of this thing as it hits it. <laughs> yeah, it, nice it goes shandy. It goes kajunk, and then wiggle wiggle. Uh. <laughs> little splatters of jelly gore yeah. yeah yeah um and okay so now uh that you did that it is the uh currently the rest of the bad stuff's turn uh the giant even left is dead uh <laughs> yeah. but there's a mummy um that was and... celeste no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Um, okay. It is, uh, going to, uh, approach, uh, Kreidel and is going to use its multi-attack. So first is going to use Rotting Fist, but it's more of a s sticky fist, I guess. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter if it rolls a four on the die. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, so it, it comes up to you and just completely misses you and looks angrily at its fist and then looks angrily at you and you need to make a wisdom saving throw as it looks at you. <laughs> Cridal? Wait. Oh, I think his headphones maybe died. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Mars. Oh, no. Mars! All right. Uh -oh. Well, while, difficulties. While, okay. while he fixes that, Trevor. This is like a to... perfect time. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna start that. Uh, we're gonna start that giveaway. So Martin, in a moment, is going to be putting into chat uh, the the giveaway instructions and what you can put into enter. You'll be entering for a chance to win an original War Duke action figure from the cartoon. There it is uh, in there. So put uh, uh what, what, what's so the, it's War Duke. It's, it's War, War Duke. Duke. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Keep it yes. simple. Big brain Still Martin. Packaging. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Uh, can, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, good. Hey. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as the mummy I'd looks at you to. angrily. <laughs> Those war dudes oh, in chat. No. There it goes. Hey, man, I got a two. Hey, I get to do something? Wow. Two. This is wild. Change good luck, everyone turn. in chat. Good luck with the giveaway. Yep. Um, so. I wish I could enter. Uh, you are frightened of this gummy mummy. Gummy uh, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> and the alliteration yeah. is spot on. Yeah. Oh, and you failed it uh, by just enough that you are also paralyzed. Oh no! Ah! That's much worse. That's bad. Uh, that's, that's that's that that's not good. Yep. Just standing there, stock still, just screaming. Ah! <laughs> and the you joints are froze. stuck this way for <laughs> an amount of time that I will tell you after a bit. Oh no. Um, oh, okay, now we're gonna go back up to the top uh, uh, with Celeste. Perfect. There's a bunch of gummy bugs on you. I don't even care. Um, <laughs> can I like run unimpeded? Like they can stay on me. I just want to move. Oh yeah, you can move. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm They're gonna... just gonna come along for the ride. Yeah, yeah, all of them fine. just like hunker down. They're like, "All right, we're ready." <laughs> <laughs> I I laser focus on the boy who is always in trouble, and I go to Crydle. Yep, <laughs> and, that's uh, me. And Catchphrase. I put my plasticky mitts on his shoulders and cast Lesser Restoration, so you are not paralyzed. Hey! Oh my god! I didn't expect you just to have an instant counter to that. Instant Clarice. counter. 
<laughs> yes, yes. That was gonna be Thank that was gonna you. be my turn too. If you didn't do that, was I have lesser restoration as well to run up. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Everyone, thank your cleric. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, clerics. Thank you, clerics. Uh, and uh, the mummy is now within my spirit guardians. Uh, I believe if he was uh, up close hitting Cridal. Yeah. So yeah, no, that works. Yeah. Fifteen feet. Uh, yeah. So a wisdom save from him. Uh, from the mummy, the gummy mummy. Yeah. Um, what are your stats? Okay. Nine. That does not make it's it. At least so. better than what I rolled last time. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I'm world. a DM and not a player. Uh, my, my rolls have been much more lower than higher today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's 11 radiant damage. To the mummy. To the mummy. Um, Okay. And uh, I will use bonus action. So I will also do the draconic cry of the kobold. I just unhinge my plastic jaw and go, (laughs) 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 I love it. I love it. Uh, Okay. Uh, uh, Cridal, uh, it's your turn. um, And you are no longer paralyzed. But you are yeah. very frightened of the thing in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> can only do <decent>. still. <laughs> so I realized I can't speak when I'm paralyzed. So I was screaming. Then I got paralyzed, stopped. Now I'm back to screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me see what I can even do when I'm frightened. It's uh, one of so those you, I always got to remind myself. So uh, frightened. Can't eh? willingly move closer. Yes, but you and are already within five feet of it. Uh, you do cool. have disadvantage on attack rolls against it, though. But, but, uh, Celeste but, but. Draconic Cry gives you advantage. And so thus... it would just be a normal attack. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I give myself advantage again. No. <laughs> I actually have advantage. No. No? No. Because I have multiple ways of gaining advantage. Anyway, I know. So, <laughs> But no. All we can advantage. do is make sure you can still get your sneak attack. We can't do more. Okay. How okay. is this? Okay. The, I, I'm not even kidding. Twice in two days in two different D&D games, I've had a player go, but you could give me that double advantage though, right? <laughs> you could. You're the DM. You could. You could. you could give me that double though. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, all right. You, all right. You, you're all right. making it a normal attack. All right. Um, well, Spin to win, baby. Let's oh, go. Um, well, okay, but Celeste is within five feet of you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is one of those things where Cridal's an idiot. I think. Oh lord. I just held your dumb butt. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps, I rolled to see if the if it hits you first, mm. and I got an eleven. Hey, that does not hit my AC. Yeah! <laughs> it just like tanks against the plastic. Cryo, please! <laughs> so so used okay. to this that you, you know um, to get out of the way. It's a 14 oh. for the mummy. Uh, that'll hit. <laughs> yeah! This is the universal cry of the cleric. I just healed your dumb butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now I can do cool things again. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be 22 bludgeoning damage as I just spin just, it to win it. I, uh, we did the mash, the monster mash. <laughs> <laughs> Graveyard smash! Oh, <laughs> yeah, you took a few chunks out of this gummy mummy. Uh, yeah! Oh, I have not recovered from that. <laughs> <laughs> Were there uh, anything else around me or just Celeste and the mummy? Uh, currently, it is just uh, you, Celeste. The mummy. Oh, the bugs on Celeste. And the bugs on Celeste. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, you then, know, just that little cool. thing. Cool. Um, I will. Uh... Would the bugs also get hit by the spinning? You know the... what? Yeah. Roll another yeah! attack, Rydal. <laughs> cool. One attack for all the bugs or for individual Yeah, what? Well, yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> There's like a, a couple hundred. It's a swarm, on right? <laughs> like... Come back in three hours and I'll be done. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, that is a 12. 
Uh, I mean, that might hit their swarm. Yeah, swarm oh, it actually crazy. doesn't. Uh, you, okay. you somehow completely right. just missed Celeste and uh, all the bugs <laughs> They just fluidly it. move around my arms. Yep. Oh, <laughs> they actually <laughs> help you miss. You're about to hit Celeste and all the bugs are like, no, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Lurking right in chat. Like, Celeste is bugged? Oh, no. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good job, Lord. I'm on my way to fix it, I promise. Well done. Oh, right. that, oh my god. Um, and I'll use happy. my cunning action to bonus action to disengage so I can move away. Yeah. You do Sorry, so. Celeste. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I only saved your life, but whatever. Bye. Bridal's a friendly jerk. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's not going to be able to move back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it is. Let me scary. Uh, it is the other bad stuff's turn. The beetle, or the, the the beetle is dead. So the swarm uh, is going to go ahead and attack Celeste. Uh, on their turn, they have to save for my spirit guardians That's again. That's right. Wisdom. Yep. Twelve. Uh, that does not make it. I'm I'm getting higher. One of these I'm gonna make. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't roll great for damage, so nine uh, radiant damage. Okay, still good, still good. Uh, after I do math in my head, there we go. <laughs> um, okay, uh, then uh, you all uh, hear uh, a sound. It's, uh, I guess it's kind of a hollow sound, but it's coming from the oven uh, as something else is coming out of the darkness beyond the giant light bulb. Uh, and you see uh, this form slowly walking out. Boom, boom. And it gets to the, the the door, and it spreads out these giant wings uh, and uh, roars as a giant gummy dragon is there. And it just vomits out gummy all over uh, the, the door of the oven. <laughs> what color gummy? Uh, like delicious. I said, it's kind of a kaleidoscope of colors. <laughs> okay. uh, it doesn't look like the whoever put this in was like, and this is going to be the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but what, but what flavor, though? That's my question. Um, All. Oh. And yeah, so that it, it's gonna, that's going to be its turn walking out onto the uh the, the oven door there i mean there's nothing Rory. wrong with taking your turn to have an epic entrance that is super cool <laughs> you it's know bravo cool to the it's gummy a, dragon it does have the shape of a black dragon mm. yeah um so now it is going to be tyrell's turn uh Did the bugs so make an attack they didn't. I just went through all that and took damage, and I didn't actually attack you. Uh, but I rolled a two, so oh, okay. continue. Oh. <laughs> I'm an honest player. I appreciate you. I really Your honesty you. rewards you, apparently. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> um. So it's mummy, dragon, swarm are, are what's left on the field? Mum, mummy, dragon, swarm. Yes. Okay. Not a, not a swarm Where's of dragons, but a dragon. <laughs> comma. Mummy dragon swarm. Swarmy dragon swarm. <laughs> Oxford comma. Very important here. The, yes. Yes. The, the spoken and unspoken commas. Um, yeah. If I call down lightning in between the the mummy and the dragon, can I get them both? Are they within ten feet what of is each the, other? What's no? They're not within ten feet. All right. No. That, I'm just gonna do a uh, another lightning uh, down onto the mummy. I needed to make a dexterity saving throw DC fifteen. Seven. Awesome. It, it's going to take all this damage. A 28 lightning damage. Wow. wow. I, the hey. mummy explodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it just is, oh. And it just stops right on its head. And then it goes, uh-oh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Celeste, you are now covered in gummy uh, bugs and just gummy goo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining Celeste is just kind of a mound of gummies with like cartoon eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly that. <laughs> so the mummy's gone. And the mummy is gone. gone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we can fix that later. Um, and then, uh, do I want to do this? Actually, I think it's an action. I don't think I can. Uh, so it reveals you can use an action. Okay, no, I can't. I can't do the bag yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tyrell's like reaching for the bag, like, "Oh, we're gonna need some more friends." But uh, that is that is the end of his turn. All right. Um, then it's going to be Shandy. 
Uh, yeah. There is a swarm of bugs on Celeste and a, uh, a, a pretty big black dragon that's made out of gummy. Uh, Celeste, are you, are you okay? I'm good. All right. <laughs> Covering gummy. Uh, my bonus action is going to be to move the hunter's mark from the dead beetle to the dragon. Okay. Uh, then in, in dr draconic, uh, Shane will be like, I hate dragons, and just start laying into that. Because <laughs> uh, they are my favorite foe. Mm. Uh, but oh. it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything. That's very though. convenient. I can track it. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. I found it. <laughs> yeah. Oof, easy. There it is. Uh, all right. First attack. Uh, 16 to hit. Uh, it actually does not. Uh, oh. It just kind of harmlessly sticks in the gummy and wiggles a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, aim for the eyes. Uh, Twenty-four the eyes. to hit. Uh, yeah, no, that one will hit. Yeah, uh, it that reacts be, to that arrow. Uh, uh, nineteen points of damage on that one. Uh, oh wow, yeah, no, that's good. You know what? I think I'm uh, gonna use a second sticky note here. <laughs> <gasps> We've moved to two stickies. <laughs> now you know he's serious. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Ash catch him turning the hat around. Uh, well, how much damage was that again? Uh, that was 19. 19. Yeah. <coughs> okay, anything else on your turn? Uh, that is it. I'm going to stay far enough away. I'm, I'll be within 80 feet of it. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. I just put out damage. That's my job. You, you do see that there's <laughs> like some good other, job at like... It. Yeah. You just see that there's like some other random things that are just kind of placed around in this arena. There's like a weird stacking of what looks like massive cups in a pyramid shape. <laughs> uh, there's some like uh, translucent cubes that are stacked up that kind of look like ice cubes. And you're like, where can I even get those? But they never sell them in toy stores and you don't know where they keep coming from. Um, so, yeah, it's just some weird stuff out there. Um, okay, now with that, it's, uh, the, well, the mummy's dead. <laughs> so there's nothing there, so it's gonna go back to the top with Celeste. Okay, there is a dragon. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my, my action figure toy fire attack action attack. Yeah! <laughs> uh, yes. So, range spell attack. Oh, 21. Uh, so, yeah, you hold up your hand and this little uh, plastic fireball appears and he goes, bang! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it flies, arcs over, and hits the dragon and goes, boom! <laughs> nice. Um, it's 3d6 damage. Is there a way to just roll 3d6? Yep. In uh, bottom on the bottom you left, yeah. Yep. You Looks click like on that and then click the, the d6 three times. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, right. One, two, three, roll. Twelve. Uh, okay, twelve damage. Um, all right, anything else on your turn? Um, oh, yeah. I might as well <laughs> bonus action spiritual weapon uh, <clears throat> behind or beside the dragon. Um, what should it be? What's a good sort of toy thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know. Man. I guess just like the the classic like pow pow hammer. Oh yeah! Oh yes! No, yes! yes. 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 <clears throat> yeah. Bonk! Oh, sock and, bo sock and boppers would be good too. <laughs> sock and oh, oh my god, yes. that was a great cat. <laughs> yeah. You nailed that. That was a good squeak cat. Uh, I had so I had the sword and shield sock and boppers growing up. Get to the attack cool. as well. So that's seventeen for the spiritual weapon to uh, hit. That is actually going to miss. It just bounces okay. off its gummy hide. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great game. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna back away. If, if uh, we ever get more like like get more sound effects in Idol Champions, I need one of them to just be cat <laughs> going. <laughs> it's an Easter egg. It's only when you fight dragons and have and Celeste. Celeste. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> we have more obscure Easter eggs. Why not? <laughs> we do. <laughs> Uh, I, I just want to move back, so I'm uh, by Cridal again. Okay. Uh, easily done. So next up is going to be Cridal. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> With that mummy out of the way, I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Giant and, dragon. Uh, yeah, Cridal's got an idea. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a big toy. I mean, yeah. Yeah. What's it made of? Gummy. Gummy. Yeah. Okay. So it's technically a food, not a toy. 
Okay. <laughs> is, is, is it like Don't totally see through, like translucent? It has translucent. It's like as its wings come up, not you transparent, can see, but translucent. You can see the light of the bulb behind it, kind of like going through the gummy. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Sure. Why not? Um. I. Uh, this this is weird, but I can't think of another place to use this. Uh, oh, magic ring! Give me sight within sight! And I'm going to activate my ring of x-ray vision. Okay. I want to see through stuff. Uh, you see I... through stuff. Yeah! Uh, including the dragon that has nothing inside of it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> if you'd activated right. this when we were still fighting skeletons, would they have just been solid matter? Like, <laughs> would that have been the one <laughs> thing you couldn't see through? <laughs> but this stays on for a minute, so... It's good for a while. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get closer and uh, I'm going to take my my um, cunning action to dash to get even closer. I want to be like right in front of this, this dragon if I can. Yep, you can totally do that. Uh, yeah, to make up for running away and <laughs> leaving Celeste alone completely. <laughs> <laughs> Just that little thing. Yeah. And basically Cridle's like trying to like look at this thing to like try to figure out if it's got any weak points. It's gummy. It probably doesn't. But he's trying. It's gummy. Okay. It's only weak points. <laughs> that's it. And that's it for your turn? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, good news. It's uh, the dragon's turn. And uh, someone just came up right onto it. So, I mean, it's going to do some attacks. Yeah. Oh, it's going to do three attacks, exactly. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Dragon's like, well, if I must. So this <laughs> Can I take back roars. my last turn? <laughs> <laughs> and it starts, to come at, it starts to come at you to bite, uh, but it's a, it's a little less imposing than like the other times you face dragons because all of its pointy teeth are, are just stuck onto its mouth. <laughs> it's just gonna gum at me? Yeah, he's... <laughs> Uh, like a light massage <laughs> but uh the bite attack rolled a two on the die so i don't think that's gonna hit you so but it is gonna bring up its uh giant claws and try to attack you there oh okay uh, 17 to hit i think is gonna do it yep it does yes. um and then 21 to hit is definitely gonna do it yes uh, so you take a total of 22 points of slashing damage as this thing just tsah, tsah. I, I will want to uncanny dodge whatever one of those was the 11. biggest source so, of damage. So, so okay. they were both 11. Oh, okay. So I'll just I'll just take 11 then. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's gross, <laughs> but delicious. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. So now that was uh, the Dargon's turn. Uh, now we're going to go to Tyrol. Uh, um. I'm gonna saunter on up next to the dragon, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm gonna pat it gently on the gummy side, and 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 say, I'm really sorry, because you're kind of oozy, and my friends are gonna stab you a lot, <laughs> which is my draconic cry. So everybody now has advantage on attacking <laughs> the dragon. <laughs> uh, that's my bonus action, and then as I pull my hand away, the the lightning that had been over there coalesces over the dragon and hits it. I needed to make a dexterity saving throw. DC 15. Take four. Uh, well, an 11 is not going to cut it. Nope. It takes 20 lightning damage. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, call lightning is no joke. Isn't yeah, it does true? some serious damage. No yeah, true. especially okay. especially if I'm out in the open and there's yeah. storm clouds I can grab from. It's great. Um, and, and then, yeah, I'm just going to stay next to the dragon for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> then uh, it is Shandy's turn. What do, is the light bulb still, like, glowing or doing anything? It is glowing. Make it not that. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot at the light bulb. Ooh, okay. okay. If uh, let's do one shot for now. Uh, that is a 19 to hit the light bulb. Oh yeah, we'll hit the light bulb. Yeah, yeah. roll me some damage. Uh, that is 12 points of damage on that one. So six piercing, magical, and then six force. Okay, I think that is good enough to shatter it. Okay. Um, and now I have to decide on something. 
Oh. <laughs> In which no, I just don't want nothing else to so, spawn. Yeah. Okay, so so here's here's something that I do in uh, in my home games that I, oh. I got from one of my one of my friends. Um, it, when it comes to something that I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this or not. This might be too good or too bad. I like to let the dice decide. So, okay. uh, Sean, since you're the one doing this, high or low? Oh. Yes. Is this a D, is this a D100 roll? It is a D100 okay. roll. Let's. You've been rolling not so good. <laughs> Okay, I don't need to what? hear this from you and wow. my home game. Okay, yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. tenth of fate, <laughs> both, won't you? Both I'm groups. saying, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, you usually don't roll very well, but I think this time because of that, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go oh. high. Okay, You're trying to meta game life. Yes, You're trying to meta game randomness, <laughs> life which is, is kind of amazing. To, yeah, yeah, randomness right. will try to screw me when it can. So I'm gonna go the opposite. Let's see. Ninety four is pretty high. Go! <laughs> um, so uh, you so. take aim, fire this force arrow that flies yeah. out and strikes this uh, this light bulb that immediately just shatters. But then the the uh, the the mechanism inside of it explodes, oh. and it Sorry. sparks, <laughs> which then sparks with the lightning. Hey. And so um, I'm going to give the dragon two deck saves and see what happens real quick. Okay. Okay. I got, I got it all in lockdown for RNG in life. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to take uh, full damage from the shattering uh, uh, light, but it's going to take half damage from another lightning strike of... Tyrell's oh. storm attack because hey, it nice. set it off as well. I next, love it. Next, next. And I will roll some damage for the glass. Uh, let me know when you want my damage. Okay, give me one second. We'll do this. Hey, come back here. Um, okay. Ah, dice. Ah, ah. Uh, sorry. Uh, well, yeah. What'd you get? <laughs> uh, total of nineteen. So if it's half damage, it's nine. As Cheryl's okay. like, "Oh, I know. Hey, more electricity." Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and then, all right. So, uh, yes, the uh, the bulb explodes and causes this uh, explosion of electricity that goes off as these shards just kind of fall on the back half of the dragon. Luckily, uh, away from Tyrell and Crydel. Um, and that is going to take us back to the top with uh, Celeste. Still have one more attack. Oh, you do? Oh, oh, do. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, <my laughs> First attack was at Lightbulb. Uh, second attack will be at the dragon. Um, uh, but okay. that is a natural one. So. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. I try to pull the string back and no arrow shows up. I'm like, what the? What do you mean? <laughs> this isn't working. Try blow on it for next time. <laughs> Get ready for next Okay, round. we were so distracted by how awesome that was that we didn't even notice the missed attack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nobody yeah. saw it. Not, yeah, not okay. a soul. Yeah. Not a soul. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, so Celeste. Okay, uh, first I'm gonna make a swing with the spiritual weapon. Mm, 14. Not good enough, unfortunately. No. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, how far am I from Cridal? Um, uh, you are about, uh, 10 feet away. Okay. Uh, I'm going to step 10 feet up to just the back of Cridal, but not like within dragon range and uh, just pat him on the back, cast cure wounds. You got it, buddy. Yeah. Why am I the tank? <laughs> I don't know. I'm here um, with you. It's going to be fine. So we got seven, seven points of healing for you. From 80 feet away. So you got this. Uh, <laughs> and actually, um, is the dragon then within 15 feet of me for yes. spirit guardians? Ooh. So the dragon has to make oh. a wisdom save. Ooh, look at you go. I have Plus so much 20. stuff up right now. <laughs> Clerics, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't think a four is going to cut it, so. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, 14 um, nice. radiant damage. And nice. then I will step like. 10 feet back again. <laughs> okay. Just so I'm not immediately in the line of fire. Um, all right. Well, then with the end of your turn, it's going to be Cridal. Yeah. Celeste is like right behind me, right? 
Uh, no, she, she stepped back a little bit. Oh, good. <laughs> Learned a lesson. Spin away. Too close to me, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> swing away, Cridal. Swing away. <laughs> Thanks, Celeste. All right. Um, can I? It's made of gummy. Yeah. Can I get inside of it? <laughs> I mean, you can eat your it's way like, through, right? I was thinking, because I set that up by saying, ew, it's gross, but delicious. Can I just, like, just cobalt chomp my way inside this thing? Like Pac-Man. Give <laughs> me... We have chomping action. Cridle, 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 Cridle. Give me a constitution check. Just, just <laughs> D20 and con. Nice. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to, because this, this is, this is, this is big times. So I'm going to roll this. On the, uh, oh, in the game log, ten. <laughs> uh, you're like, ah, 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 ah. it's a little too gummy. -y. I will give you this. You can make an attack if you want. I will give you that's your bonus <laughs> action if you want to make an attack. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, and I've cried, so you got advantage. <laughs> this is this is just like I just get my knife out and I also start like trying to like cut into it to Can get like say more that in there. Out of context is hilarious, and I've cried, so you have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused for a second because I was picturing waterworks. I was like, yeah. how did that happen? I just <laughs> love when there's despair around me. It makes me feel good, so I get advantage. You can have advantage now. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Eh. Oh no. Okay, it will. It rolled under my dinosaur. All right, that's a fifteen to hit. That yes. is unfortunately not going to hit. Even Dang with it. advantage. Oh wait, I didn't do the advantage. Hold on. Okay, that is seventeen. Yes, that will hit. Yeah, advantage. Thank you. Okay, and this is going to be five. Oh, plus sneak attack, which is. Three and that's four. That's seven and that's four. That's eleven. Eleven more from sneak attack. And that 16 total. is enough to kill it. Hey. Oh, uh, you <laughs> just. I was not expecting that. This dragon, this gummy dragon, just roll, boom. I was trying to get snack. Um. Yeah, and actually, Oops. you're still hold on to a part of it, and it just kind of tears away. You have this giant ball of gummy in your mouth. Oh wait, I've got a little knife here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which is actually uh, very appropriate because uh, just after that happens, uh, you hear Kellick again go, No, that's not fair! Fine, then you're just going to have to fight the last ones as well! Um, oh, and, uh, you, do I uh, see him? Yes, you do. Is he within 120 feet of me? Sort of. I can call <laughs> lightning within 120 ah! feet. I'd like as soon as he comes okay. into view. Okay, I'm gonna... I need him to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, okay, Shut we'll do this. Man. Roll the three on the die. <laughs> Sorry, a little I'm... plastic lightning bolt coming at I, your face. I look up. I'm like, it's just insulting. Hi, <laughs> funk. Uh, 23 lightning damage to Kellett. Kell you hear Kellett go. Ah, you little jerks! Uh, and he <laughs> drops what he was holding, and two forms just kind of could chunk down on the uh, on the ground, and uh, they start to get up, and you see that they are made of the same stuff as you, uh, as they kind of move their joints in weird ways, and one of them stands and looks exactly like the person that gave you this quest. Yes! And uh, he pulls out a sword that then immediately catches on kind of weird stop motion fire. <laughs> no! And then the other form stands and unfurls these big yellow wings. Oh no. And you see this very notable fuzzy okay. hat on this dragon born with wings. <laughs> Do I need to pull You're up a second Lauren character sheet? Fight herself. <laughs> nope, I already have one. Okay, okay. If you need me to do a voice, just let me know. I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're actually just going to keep the exact same initiative. 
Okay. Uh, okay. So let me actually so cool. grab uh, War Duke stats real quick, Lauren, which I literally put in, in my hyperlinks as action were, figure War Duke. So funny Having enough, to fight Orkira. <laughs> No, but Orkira has been in situations with action figures before. So for her, oh, okay. Ah, uh, geez, again. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, and she uh, knows War Duke. So actually, <laughs> War Duke is actually gonna go for Celeste, uh, and actually like literally, sense. like anime wise, just kind of <laughs> like flies towards <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> He, like, like puts the sword of... down, readies, and <laughs> <laughs> lands in front of me, blows off all the goo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the goo and the bugs just kind of <laughs> the bugs that I totally forgot about for a couple turns, but so, whatever. So menacing. <laughs> uh, but the uh, War Duke is going to make an attack with uh, his flame tongue long sword. Okay. Um, actually, he gets a couple attacks, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, all right, nineteen to hit. I think is going to oh, do it. That does. Uh, you take seven slashing and seven fire. Okay, so fourteen. Um, and uh, I don't think a thirteen is going to hit you. It does not. Okay. Um, and then it gets one more. Oh, but I think that one is going to hit. Yeah, because I, I rolled a seventeen on that. Yeah. Um, so that is another fourteen total to you as uh, War Duke just comes up. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and he just goes, I am War Duke, but he's he, nothing up here moves. In fact, like the speaker in his chest kind of announces that. <laughs> have a string behind crackle. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's well, like, I've got a sword. I can use it. Uh, <laughs> the snake as, in my boot. <laughs> as it slashes into plastic Celeste, she sort of goes stiff and then conks backwards. Oh no! Out. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! The healer's down. That's okay, uh, Orkira's here. Yeah, and Orkira's my... <laughs> here, and is currently flying towards Shandy. Uh... <laughs> and my, my spiritual weapon oh, goes, no, <laughs> and poops, <laughs> and all the little kobolds fly actually, away. Actually, Aww. actually, spiritual weapon is not concentration. Oh, that's true. So it just sticks around? <laughs> until, wow. until you come back or die. <laughs> wow, okay. Rad. Wow. Clerics, right? Rad. Rad. <laughs> Uh, That's cool. So, I actually didn't know that. That's pretty cool. I yeah. knew it wasn't concentration, but I just assumed when you go down. Like, yeah. I, I think I think that might be a a homebrew thing. I don't remember what the <laughs> official ruling is, but like literally, it's it's because it's not concentration. It just sticks around. Uh, There's a whole bunch of cleric so cool. stuff like that. Sorry. So Arkira comes up to Shandy and just takes out claws and just swipes real quick at you. Um, at uh, fifteen to hit. Yes. Yes. That's accurate uh, for Akira's claws. Okay. Uh, you take uh, nine slashing damage. Um, Wait, on, 15, on a fifteen to hit? Yeah, that's a mess. Oh, oh, I yeah. thought you said that that hit. Oh, okay. oh no, sorry, that's a mess. Yeah, oh, I, have, okay. I have AC sixteen. Okay, well, uh, I then the other one is not going to hit with a nine. Uh, so Akira just. Uh, what catchphrase comes out of action figure <laughs> Akira? <laughs> One enemy at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then fails on her claws as she does every single time. Uh all right, <laughs> Tyrrell, uh War Duke uh has just knocked over Celeste and Orkira is attacking uh Shandy. What do you do? So we're supposed to come and collect you, and I already got one of you. But, oh, oh, I got to fix this. I'm going to walk up next to Celeste. And sadly, my lightning is going to go away. But then as a bonus action, uh, I take my staff, which used to be this nice crooked piece of wood and is now just a like a stick of plastic. Mm -hmm. And I smack it down on the ground and it stays there as I let go. And it just starts to radiate... Um, you know, in comic books, there's just wavy lines around stuff. It just whoom, whoom, whoom. As I'm going to cast Healing Spirit, I'm going to put it right next to Shandy, or Shandy, to um, Celeste. Um, and I think you immediately get, whenever your creature moves into the space, yeah, so you can, you get 1d6 hit points right away. I'll let you roll that. Okay, okay. Um, One. And so now i Yay! So you now have three. We had a cleric here with us, so I didn't take any other healing. Um, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. 
you know, as long as I can speak and I can see, I can fix this. <laughs> and I will be standing next to War Duke, so I okay. I will be uh, basically like, we came to get you. Um, I even brought you a present, and I'm gonna grab my tam bag. Uh, and uh, the War Duke looks at you, and the next line that comes out of its chest is, "Shut up, Eric." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to name this, and so because spiritual, uh, spit guardians is bonus action as an action, I'm going to reach into the tam bag of tricks. Uh, would okay. You, would you be so okay. kind as to roll a d8, please? Okay. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We know. We're not. I'm not going to sit here and pretend we know what chat wants. Yeah. I don't know what what does chat want. But <laughs> they I'm can't gonna get... roll for it. Well, okay, you gotta roll for okay, it. Yeah. No, no, I'm I'm gonna roll for it. Either we roll for it or it oh. happens. Oh, because so... you gotta roll to make it happen. Anyway, oh, I know, a... I know, I know. Okay, but Lauren. Yeah, hi. High or low? Hi, always. Be low, isn't it? I rolled a 100. <laughs> oh <laughs> no my way! God. Okay. It's the highest it could possibly be. You, you know, you reach know, into the bag. On my uh, wild magic surge table, that means you get a draw from the deck of many things. <laughs> oh my god. That's really funny. You know what I changed it to in our charity game? No. Jeremy shows up. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you pull out a toy. Oh my gosh, I could actually get you pull out a Do toy, you have a Jeremy. Toy no, but I have I have a uh, I have a uh, Guinevere that goes with uh... a. <laughs> yeah! Yes. So yes. you pull out this toy, Jeremy, and he kind of clumps down and is just like, why am I like this now? <laughs> and I look over at Warduke and I go, no, that's Jeremy. It's not Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now I got less. What is this? <laughs> Listen, you'll get you'll get used to it. You you kind of look all shiny and chrome. It's cool. It's, oh, it's cool? Yeah. Okay. I like All right, it. I guess cool. it feels really weird. The last time it felt weird, but now it's weird, weird. Well, here's the good thing: you got real used to it the last time, and you did awesome things. And I'm sure you'll do that again, because okay. Jeremy goes right after me. So Tyrell's turn <laughs> is done. Uh, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy is gonna look at the plastic, look at the plastic claws, and go. Okay, and is going to pounce on War Duke. Uh, yeah. I, I, it, because this is not going to work, but it's going to be funny. I need War Duke to make a, a strength saving throw DC 13. <laughs> uh, uh, he, roll, he rolled a 16. All right, so he, that's, that's not going to happen. But the claw is still going to go off, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just these tiny little claws just... <laughs> like, like they're a little spring loaded. <laughs> I don't I don't think a 14 hits War Duke. I mean he's wearing like weird armor that is half it he's half naked, so it I don't does know. Not hit War Duke, okay. So so Jeremy like thinks about attacking, but instead can, can it be a, a Jeremy plush that has come out instead of a, a toy, a plastic oh, toy? Cute. Can it be a little plush Jeremy? That. And so he thinks he's all plastic and then he just <laughs> so soft. I don't, I don't. I kind, I kind of like the idea that he's just padding against like with more plastic. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. He's, yeah. He's one of those old plastic figures that had little tufts of fur in specific places. Yeah. He's got cheek yeah. tufts. And... Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that, that. That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> but, but I was like, I'm doing my best. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great, He's buddy. Doing his best. <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? And that is the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> As I studiously Bless avoid the the other action figure for metagame reasons. <laughs> uh, Shandy, weakness. it is your uh, turn. There's an Orcura next to you. It's either Judo Chop or go and heal Celeste. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run away from Orkira and run to Celeste. Okay, you will get an opportunity attack as you do so. Ha! Hit me. Hmm? Hit me. Or do you want to use your bonus? Oh, no, no, you don't. No, no, I, I'm a ranger. ranger. I don't have yeah, that. That's right. No. That's right. That's right. All right, so it's going to make a claw attack against you. Uh, a 19 is going to hit you. Oh, that damn. Okay, that hits. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, this might be the first time ever that Urkira's hit with a claw attack, and I'm not playing her. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not it's not canon, then. <laughs> it's not canon. It's the yeah. cheap knockoff. It's the cheap knockoff, Urkira. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the best hat. 
Sorry. <laughs> How much damage? Uh, eight, eight slashing eight? damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will run to Celeste. Actually, what, what, what catchphrases are Kira say as Shandy runs away? Why are you running away from my hat? <laughs> Here, you want to see it? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, I will run to Celeste and I will use a... Uh... And so first, I'll use my bonus action to move the Hunter's Mark to War Duke. Okay. Uh, and then I will use my action to use a level 2 Cure Wounds on Shandy. Okay. Oh, sorry, on Celeste. Not, not on me. Oh, okay. uh, so nine points of healing. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice. Anything and else that, on your turn? That is going to be it. All right. Celeste, it's your turn. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> At the start of your turn, uh, I think you get to do the D6 thing again. Uh, yeah. Whenever you are a creature, you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So you cool. can uh, restore another D6. Another five. All right. Spellcasting. Okay, so that's so, twice. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we're good. Um, where is uh, Cridal in relation to me? That's a great question. Did did you moved up and you hit Warduke, didn't you? Or no? Warduke yeah. hit me. Yeah, more. Where, where? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're still in the oven. Yeah, you still have a big piece of gummy in your mouth. <laughs> so he's yeah. Still, yeah, he's about uh. I took out the dragon. About twenty five feet away from right. you. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna use my channel divinity again. Uh, actually, through the other item I took, amulet of the devout, lets me just Ooh. use it once without expending it. So. That's 25 points that I can split between people. So nice. who needs I need like food? half of that. Okay. I the, need do nothing. And Shandy? I'm, I've, I'm eight points down, so don't worry about me. Okay. <laughs> uh, so how about Cridal takes 12 and I'll take 13? Great. Great. Sweet. Let me just do that. Down. You are feel <laughs> rejuvenated, but yes. still a toy. <sighs> Yeah. I am much better though. <laughs> Somehow uh, you feel both oiled? like refreshed, but know. still dusted. <laughs> do, yeah. do we use cure? Do we use mending? <laughs> both, both, both is good. Does, does mending heal more? <laughs> uh, uh, anything else for your turn? Yeah, um, just <laughs> kind of bend at the waist to sit up. And <laughs> that's and great. Then, <laughs> use movement to to get up in a very awkward like. Eh. Um, and my spiritual weapon is still around, so I'm gonna have it come up to uh, hit um, Warduke in the back of the head, or attempt to. Um, yeah, because it's a bonus action to move it as well. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh no. <laughs> uh, all right, then uh, it's gonna be Crydle's turn. What would you like to do, Crydle? You know I gotta get weird with it, like, anytime I've got some silly idea, so, um, I'm gonna try to just, like, just totally take out one of these combatants. Okay. Uh, Lauren? It's not Orkira, it... it's an action figure, do <laughs> okay. what you need to do. Because I felt weird about, okay. Nope, so go for I'm it, gonna... go for it. I would like to run over to totally not Orkira, <laughs> and using my thieves' tools... Start dismantling the action figure. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Still mm -hmm. smiling like yeah. I'm just a happy idiot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is nothing weirdly morbid about this. You just pull off a You're wing. Plastic. You can't change expression. You're just smi We're all just smiling yeah. all the time. I'm just I'm stuck in this handsome smile. Yeah. Make yeah. a slight of hand check with advantage. I apparently have no moral objections to what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm in danger. Slide hand, <laughs> I'd love to. I mean, if slide this a hand, hang on, slide a hand with advantage. If this works, this cool. is how we get Warduke without having to destroy the toy back to Warduke, right? Yeah, we carry him home in, in, a, in, in a box. Okay. Just we and then we mix up the War Duke and the Orkira action figures, and so suddenly it's it's a dragon form with a dread helm. Uh, War Kira, my favorite. War so, Kira. I got yeah, no, a it's War Duke with a fluffy hat. Uh, I got a 16 on that advantage. Okay. And if that's not enough, because I'm a thief, I can cunning action to sleight of hand as a bonus action. Do it. And just do it again. Do it again. again. Do it again. 
Okay, and now that's a 22. So I just uh, went yeah, over there so and I'm I was like, yep, just, that... just pop this off, just unscrew this, and just... <laughs> uh, I was going to say that you only got like half, uh, but no, you just just become a blur of motion uh, around Orkira, that she's just kind of like, what? And then falls apart. She, she, she <laughs> says, oh no, I'm another simulacrum. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there you go. Uh, okay. Somewhere in the uh, back Crydle. of my head, the real Orkira is not happy right now. <laughs> but this is Orkira's amazing. Orkira's weirdly I'm... mad at Crydle and doesn't know why. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, like I don't like you for some reason. That's I don't know me. why. <laughs> We've never met before, but I have this really bad feeling. Um, <laughs> why are you carrying a wing? <laughs> All was... right. Uh, then uh, War Duke, uh, I think he's actually just going to split his three attacks uh, against the three nearest people. Um, and uh, so it's going to be Shandy, uh, Celeste, and Tyrrell. Uh, he's leaving Jeremy alone because I'm biased. Um, <laughs> I mean, Jeremy's not really a threat at this point. Yeah, it's true. Uh, a dirty 20 to hit Shandy. Uh, hits me. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a total of 14 points of damage. Seven slashing, seven fire. Uh, so, Celeste rolled 19 on the top. Yeah. <laughs> you take 14 more points of damage. Mm. Okay. And then Tyrrell. Uh, that's a 19 on the top. <laughs> it would hit. Except I grab my my spirit guardian, not spirit guardian, I grab my staff again, and I just kind of lean it gently in front of me. And so his flaming sword gets knocked away as I cast shield. Oh, okay. Nice. And so now my AC is 20, and I look over nice. at Crydal as I'm doing it, or at, yeah, and I say, come here and do the same thing to this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. And then, uh, so, okay. What, what would uh, uh, Orkira, what would Orkira's catchphrase be for an attack? Um, Wait, even dis disassembled? Yes, yes. I guess it's still animate, even disassembled. Oh, jeez. I and mean, we have to fight five what, Orkira, what would specifically great. be for Orkira's ultimate? For her <laughs> ultimate? For um, her action figure ultimate. She, she the, her. <laughs> She just gets oh, the real low and gutter all this is Orkira, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> and tiny marshmallows on fire start raining from the sky. Uh oh. Thank uh, the Phoenix. <laughs> and I need <laughs> I need everyone to make deck saves, including War Duke. Oh. <laughs> I'll make for Jeremy as well. Yes, please. Oh, and we're made of plastic. It is, oh, okay. That's okay, the marshmallows are plastic, too. Yeah, it's all plastic. <laughs> uh, I got a 14. Okay. You got a 10. Oh, Jeremy, mm. no. I got a 10. <laughs> uh, Tyrell got a 16. Okay. Jeremy. <laughs> if you fail to save, you take some more damage. Jeremy got, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy got a 7. <laughs> That's uh, great. Okay, well, the good news is if you failed, you take eight points of fire damage. If what? you saved, you take four points. What was the, oh, okay. the threshold? What's the oh, DC? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think everybody failed except for uh, for Tyrell, so. <laughs> okay. Is it eight points? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, yes, these little tiny marshmallows on fire just kind of bam, 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 bam. Um, and uh, War Duke takes uh, a little bit of damage there. Uh, it, 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 it's it's uh, you know its quality might not be uh, as good anymore value wise. Um, now we're gonna go to Tyrrell. It's your turn. Okay. Um, what can I do to like immobilize the, this this War Duke so that we can do this faster? Um, <laughs> man, I don't I don't have. I, oh, this is so bad. Okay, here's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, I'm gonna. I'm right next to War Duke. I'm just gonna gently grab him by the shoulders, and I'm. Uh, Tyrell's gonna go. You need to calm down and just stay still, cause we gotta bring you back to you. And I'm gonna use Druid Craft. Um, okay. Because I can make. Uh, I can instantly make flowers bloom, seed pods, and leaf 
buds happen. I could just make plants. Yeah. I would like to think in this moment I'm making real size plants and I want to use them to like <laughs> just hold him down with like, like Terrell goes to make a little plant and it just goes, Bwah! poof. <laughs> <laughs> Rose. Uh, I will say what happens as you do this is uh, uh, size appropriate plants that are also plastic and look to maybe go along with those constructible bricks uh, start popping out of War Duke all over, uh, and his chest goes, Fear me! <laughs> but you're so pretty now. Uh, and then Jeremy's gonna go. <laughs> Poor Jeremy, um, who is gonna attack him with his claws. Oh, he might actually hit. Uh, 22 to hit? That hits. Oh, my God, Jeremy. Y'all, Jeremy hit. Jeremy hit. Jeremy hit. Yeah! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Jeremy. You're so proud, proud of you. He rolled minimum damage. That is, <laughs> that is so on brand for Jeremy. We all start somewhere, had... Jeremy. At least we he We all hit. start somewhere. Baby steps. Jeremy finally figures out that he's one of those toys that you have to press the button in order to get the claws to come out So because it was like a safety mechanism. So he finally gets the claws to come out, but too late. So he only does four slashing damage. Just he rolled the minimum. Uh, Jeremy's just like, ah, oh, yeah, I did it. You I'm see that? It. You see that little mark? I did that. Good job. Ah! And, uh, and that is the two of us. Okay. <laughs> um, Shandy, it is your turn. Right, uh, I'm gonna try and put arrows into like the shoulders of War Duke to kind of stop it from moving and moving its arms Smart. Like, right uh, into like the joints. Give me, give me an uh, uh, acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Okay. You're just, you're just kind of going. Cool. Actually, if you want to do slide a hand, you could do that too. Yeah, actually. yeah. Let's let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, still better uh, than uh, what he rolled for athletics. So I will give it to. You. Yeah, you just uh, kind of jam up the joints of his shoulders. Uh, Celeste. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's looking pretty hurt again. Well, and... but you're still there, so you get another D6. True. Uh... I've got two more uses of this. <laughs> uh, another five. like the fives. Okay. Uh, but it's going to glare down Warduke. Um... <sighs> we'll deal with that in a second. <laughs> and uh, just be like... Remember the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to bonus action uh, Draconic Cry to give myself advantage. And then third level uh, Guiding Bolt into his face. I love it. <laughs> oh, Do it. It's cold. Wow. It's right less mad. Uh, the Dirty 20. Okay. That hits. Okay, so uh, that's 66 radiant. Wow. Uh, 20, 20 radiant damage. So just here's what happens. Uh, you, yeah, you kind of just, <laughs> ah, like just uh, 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 another action figure franchise just blasts a guiding <laughs> bolt and it just, it hits War Duke in the face and it just goes boop. <laughs> And the head just kind of pops off, and the, yes. the and Warden just kind of stands there, you know, without the giant head. Just goes, boom. <laughs> oh, uh, Celeste, I didn't know you oh, just took take off the head. That makes so much sense. Celeste will stiffly get up and sort of like make the motion of brushing herself off, but can't make get her hand to her side and <laughs> just be like, "Yeah, sometimes you just gotta end things quick." Um, speaking of ending things quick, we actually do. So I'm going to give you yeah. all kind of a montage of what happens here. One, after the fight, Jeremy is absolutely astounded that he continues to exist and then says, hey, wait a minute. I, I think I could do another thing. And then he transforms into one of those like Warforge things, but still has like tiger parts on him. He's just like, oh, yeah. this, this probably would have been helpful. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey, listen, we're all trying to figure things out. You know, when you go through puberty, there's only so much that you can just figure out on oh your own. God. And the fact that you haven't figured this out within 10 oh. minutes is amazing. 
Um, they grow up so fast. You all get returned to your normal, well, normal kobold forms. <laughs> Jeremy is returned to a normal tiger form. Uh, and uh, Kellogg, is, uh, Kellogg is standing there in the throne room of the Palace of Hearts Despair. And she goes, okay, fine. You can have them. Stupid. <laughs> and he just hands, he hands you both uh, the War Duke and Orkira figures. Thank you. And might I suggest just finding a playmate who wants to play with you? Mm, it sounds like talking to people. I don't really like doing that. I'm gonna go I to my room. Bye. And he just kind of, uh, uh, so, you know, just sulks away. Um, Not I did, a problem anymore. I didn't forget yeah. to tell you. You were all given a, uh, a sending stone button by the artificer. <laughs> so once you have the item, you press it. Poof! You're back uh, to the lab. Uh, you give uh, War Duke. War Duke, uh, and uh, and he's just like, oh, okay, thank uh, thank you for that. The, the, the gold gold's there on the table. He just kind of walks away. He goes, pow, 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 pow. as he's playing with it, does the loose head fall off? You have to scramble. <laughs> oh no no, Kellogg no. Kellogg used magic to get it back on there. So right. War Duke is just very happy. War um, Duke, no doubt, he paid us with gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh and the artificer congratulates you on another successful uh delivery mission and that is where we're going to end for today and the last thing you see is tyrell's like well i guess we don't need this anymore as he just sweeps all the orkira pieces off the desk and into the garbage <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeremy exists for an undetermined amount of time. Uh, One hour. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, friends, thank you all so much for this game. This was fantastic. Uh, I do want to say uh, we do have a winner for the War Duke figure. It is Lesh68. Hey! Uh, congratulations. congratulations, Lesh. Congrats. Uh, hope Congrats. you enjoy it. And, and you know what? If you don't want to keep it in the box, don't keep it in the box. Don't let people make you feel bad about that. If you, you don't want to keep it, you, you can stand to me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want with that. You yeah. play with that that action figure. You have fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I think that's going to do it for our game. Uh, again, thank you all so much. I hope you all had fun. I hope you out there enjoyed watching it. Uh, you can purchase uh, the action figure skins. Uh, again, made by Cat. They did an absolutely amazing job on it. You, you job, will Kat. not be disappointed, and I guarantee it. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, War Duke is in the game, which is just freaking cool. <laughs> conversion. Mess up your formations. Let's go. <laughs> God, streams are going to be wild for the next like week and oh, a half. God. Community Q&A is going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That spotlight, ready. that spotlight broke my brain putting those formations <laughs> together. <laughs> uh, so thank you to Mars, thank you to Lauren, thank you to Cat, thank you to Sean. I have been Trevor. Uh, that is going to do it for this game. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll see you again at some point. But until then, take care of yourself. Thank you, Trevor. Thank, thank you, you, Trevor. Ooh, that was Trevor. So much fun. Bye. See.